life. Your life. Yeah. You know, it's always weird at the beginning. It is. Let's see who logs in. Oh, my back's up. All right. Virginia. Thank you, Virginia. How you doing, in. buddy? We, we've been here about an hour. We haven't caught anything. We've had two gar bites. So yeah. we're trying. Right? Two hits? Yeah. Two, two hits. Two, hits, two yeah. or three hits. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you. Doing fine. Awesome. Great to know. Good, good. It's a beautiful night out here, guys. Beautiful. He was surprised to see that no one was here at the spot. Well, yeah. You saw someone over there, uh, that way, I think. Yeah, there was someone fishing yeah. where the entrance. Yeah. See who else joins us. Yeah. On a Saturday night. I'm sure there's people doing stuff. Yeah. Something. Virginia. I'm going to pick up Virginia during uh, the fall. We're going to come out here. I thought you already did it. I did, but it was too small of a fish. That didn't, that didn't count. <laughs> It counted, but didn't count. Yeah. We're gonna do it again, buddy. Promise. Yep. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. So what I did is after I had those hits, I tied a little bit of a piece of um, rope, and uh, to see if we can catch we can catch the gar. We're, we're gonna try. But I've noticed that anytime I put that, that string on, nothing bites. nothing bites after that. You want to bring that little piece of a rope? It's on the floor, a small piece if you can. Yeah. But we had two people come in and they left. They left us. It should be right over here, Cookie. Right. It's not there? Yeah. Right yeah. Come on. So I, I added this little piece here to the hooks, but it, I've noticed that anytime I've, I've added this to the hooks, it didn't work for us that way. That I know, way I know. You 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 were you were with me, and well, as soon as we add this rope, they just completely stopped biting. But I don't know how else to do it. I want to catch those gar. Hello, whoever. Thank else you for joining. Us. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. We have three people joined us. Thank you Fishing so much. with me. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining. Appreciate that. So we've been here for about an hour. We've had a couple of hits, gar bites, and no catfish yet. We'll nothing. see. We're trying. We're trying hard. There's gar bites, but nothing else. Gar bites, right. Gar. This we... this year we've caught a total, what, five gar total? I think so. Yeah, you caught two. I caught three. You caught three already? Yeah, I caught. Yeah. Okay. Most of them we've caught, they just clamped down on the fishing line. And we just bring them in. Uh, I think we're out here Monday. We caught two on Monday. We actually hooked them. I don't know how that was possible. We actually hooked them, yeah. um, but that's nearly impossible. So today, what we did is I added a little bit of this um, this rope. I tell I, I, I tied a little loop to the hook, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Is Cookie going to be with us next time? He will, right? Um, During hey, the fall. Hey. During the fall, maybe late October, early November, when those big, big catfish move in. Is there ever? Wait, when is the time that the cat? Wait. Saturday, Don't you remember? Right? It was Saturdays. We had to come on Saturdays because yeah. that's when you start going to school. Okay. Yeah. Sundays when I have to like rest early. And then yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's been slow. Like. Yeah, I know. There's not. A, there's not a lot of tourists out here today. I mean, th th there is, but I mean, usually there's hundreds and thousands, and now there's just, just a few. Yeah. Got a car shining their lights right at us. Today we're doing, uh, we have the whisker sticks. We have all whisker sticks on today. This is the old version and those those are the new ones. I ran to Home Depot and I bought brand new batteries. I wanted to be really, really bright. The batteries I, I had, they were, I'm, some of them were still good. I think one of them was out, but I just wanted, I wanted brand new batteries. Yeah. Should have ordered on Amazon. It would have been much, much cheaper. I think I paid like over 10 bucks for four batteries. For what, from what? For the whisker stick lights. Oh, the whisker stick lights. They're like little watch batteries. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Whoever's watching us, it's a slow night. Slow, slow night. I did uh, something kind of cool with these fishing rods. I wrapped them with high reflective tape. These are my whisker seeker rods. 
And uh, when you flash the light, man, it illuminates like crazy. I don't know if you saw the thumbnail or not. Um, I'll, I'll show you a little bit later on when it gets dark. I'll put this little light on, this bright light. Let me see if I can do it real quick here. It looks like you put Christmas Let me see if lights on do the it. rod pretty much. But, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like Chris, Christmas lights on the rods. Just they light up. That's all. Look at that. I bought them Teen Catfish Jackhammer hooks from Walmart yesterday. You did? How, how do you like them? How do they look? How did they feel? Team Catfish? I didn't know Team Catfish was in Walmart. Hey, Mr. Team Mike Chavez. Man, it's yes, good to see man. you. That's awesome. Back again. I don't know if you just joined in or not, but I was just showing what I did to these, uh, my whisker seeker. I added high, high reflective tape. Let me just do it real quick. So when you put that light on, look, look at that. Just wanted to, to do something kind of cool. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. I just always, always try to do something different, something new, and that's what I came up with. It's a high reflective tape. Got it on Amazon. Uh, one of them, I don't know how they scale the high reflective, but one of them's the like the most reflective. I think it's it's scaled at 700, and then the orange it's scaled at 200. Um, but that's what I've been doing. My wife tells me that I'm crazy, but I have fun doing it. I think it'll look kind of cool if you're fighting a fish yeah. and the light would be on. Yeah. With that it's band, like, see the action. Yeah, it looks like Christmas lights. Yeah, it looks like Christmas lights. Just the glow. Yeah, and, so and then much. today we're using the whisker, whisker sticks, yeah. LED tips. You can't even see them when the lights are off, but when they turn on, they glow. Oh, so yeah. Much. You can, they can definitely see it. So, like I said, guys, we've been here about, about an hour. No catfish. We've had two gar bites. Kind of a slow night it's mm. like a perfect night the tide's coming in right now i thought we'll be we'll be killing it another work night oh man a lot of work mike he's working hard mm. hope you hope you get to go fishing soon yeah it's kind of it's kind of funny because right right after the spawn about three or four, what was it three weeks ago when it ended we caught we caught those 230 pound catfish yeah we did really, really well that weekend, and after that, it's just kind of slowed down. I'm not sure what. Do you think that you said that you can catch like sixty to seventy pounders out there? Sometimes on the other you, side. You might. You think we should might maybe try, try different spots? Maybe. Yeah. Because we always fish on that side. Yeah. Run I, or I, here? I, I, I've been guys. I've been fishing sometimes twice a week, and it's it's just been really, really slow. Mm -hmm. We're talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, man, I come fishing twice a week, and sometimes there's nothing for the post, you know. <laughs> it's just that slow. So on that side, we have, like I said, we have the whisker seekers, the medium heavy, uh, seven, seven and a half foot, and then this is the baby whisker seeker that they're claiming. It's actually an ice rod, but now ever since Luke showed it on his uh, YouTube channel from Catfish and Carp, um, Whisker Seeker has now considered, called this a catfish rod now. It's a 30, mm -hmm. 38 inch, it's kind of funny. So I bought two of them and we brought one of them out. It's a slow night tonight. Yeah, I hear you. Super slow. Yeah, appreciate whoever's joining us. We're, we're, we're waiting just like you guys. We're waiting for that hit. But last guard bite, it was, it was, it went down. Mike, if you're, if you're still here, what I did, I didn't do exactly your rig. I did a little bit different. I have the same, the same rope, but I kind of took it apart. I just kind of tied two little pieces. Um, but I've noticed that anytime I've, I've, I've added rope to, to my hook. Even the gar stops by. I don't know why, but I'm trying to snag them. I'm trying to get their teeth caught up in this, in this awesome rope here. So we'll see if it works or not. I think we might have done better just with the line. I don't know, but it feels like we. Well, we get more hits. For yeah. some reason, when when I've added this, the gar just they just they just shut down. Everything shuts down. Everything shuts down. Even the catfish. Yeah. Well, the catfish is not around anyways right now.
quiet, quiet night. I'm gonna show you around a little bit here. I'm so enjoying this. Andrew Cop, thanks for joining in. Thank you so much, Andrew. Once again, whoever whoever wants to see the the high reflective tape, there we go. I guard fished, we did cast and retrieve like bass fishing. I, I, I remember Luke was doing that a little, a little bit more, I believe. Um, I, but yeah, I guess whatever worked. If I remember correctly, I think I think you had better luck just by letting it sit out there, or were you always reeling it in? I don't remember that part. I, I remember Luke was trying his his way, and then Mike Chavez was like, I'll fish him. And it quickly converted over. Muddy River Cat Hey, Muddy River Chris, man. Chris Flores. Hey, he's, he's awesome. He's got an awesome. Thank you so much for joining, man. Thank you, uh, Chris. <clears throat> Just want to show you what I what I did to my whisker seeker. Um, I added high reflective tape. So hopefully when Cookie's catching a fish, I can turn on the light. And we can see the rod bend over. But my wife tells me, like she keeps saying that I'm, I'm wacko. I spent like a whole day wrapping those with high reflective tape. Continues retreat, yeah. Okay. okay. There's a there's a duck. Thank right you, appreciate that. There Chris. was a duck right next to you. It was right there, just waddling along. Was he? I heard uh, something right next mm -hmm. to me. That's yeah, it's it's a sl it's a slow night, guys. We we want to we want to put a show on for you. We want to catch a yeah. fish. we we'll, we'll, we get excited over gars. So if we catch a gar. Yeah. We'll be thrilled. I, I just saw the guard that just, it just took it down like a catfish. It did, they hit hard, but yeah. they, 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 they let go. But so so we were out here Monday night with the family, the whole Mason, my wife, yeah. and our daughter Bella was out here. We caught two gar. And those two gar for the first time, we actually hooked them. We had never hooked yeah. a gar, but they were actually hooked inside their mouth. Yeah. The, the other three that we have caught in the past few months, they just clamped down on the fishing line. They just chomped down and we yeah. bring them in. So we'll see. Just a while ago, remember the helicopter you saw? Oh yeah. It was a helicopter. I mean, there's a helicopter flying by every 15, 20 minutes. One actually did like a, a U-turn. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, it, like, it just came up and then it, it looked like he lost control and he just like swiveled a little. Yeah. And then he just came, he went into DC and then he came back Because he saw you. Right He's like, oh, yeah, that kid's famous. Mm. <laughs> he came out and then like the police yeah, there was a bunch of police and coming around. there was around. a VIP thing. Yeah. So, that was a bit of a weird situation, just to be like right here. Yeah. We got to see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were getting bites that day, but no takes. Yeah, I know. I know. We we had a lot of gar bites. I wish we would have caught even a gar. I would have been happy. <laughs> yeah, Virginia, when I told you, we caught, caught a little small fish. Small, small one. Like how much do you think it was? A pound. <laughs> A pound. That's not certified to be a fish. I know. It is. <laughs> we tried hard, man. I, I drove five hours, five hours in total, in total. To pick them up and then yeah, to pick them up and then come back, come back to the this house. way, drop them off and then come back home. So, I, 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 I tried hard. And then setting up, how long did it take? Like setup minutes? was pretty quick. Ten minutes. Yeah, he helped minutes. me out. Didn't take us a lot. He's laughing. <laughs> Man, tonight's a really slow night. It's actually kind of creepy. Yeah. How, how late is it? Let me check. It's like 8 and it's already like so dead. Yeah. That's not very good. <laughs> what we could do is we can kill the stream in a little bit and until we catch a fish we'll come back live. <laughs> I don't think people just want to stare at us yeah, without exactly. catching fish. That, I, that's kind of boring. Yeah. We'll give it maybe 15 minutes. Another month or so, I'm going to have to plan a trip to DC and hang out with you guys. Absolutely, and that's <laughs> I think in about a month or so it's gonna get nuts. That's when the fall. You remember two years ago? Yeah. Man, we were killing it. There's only that's 30 pounders. Still daylight. Yeah, it's it's daylight in New Mexico. Oh. 624. So it's daylight here. It's it's get dark already. It's dark. 6 a.m. Yeah. Or 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Oh, okay. So, it's a two-hour difference. Yeah. Oh. Like Guatemala. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I 
be there tonight. Absolutely, Mike. Well, let me know when you're planning to come down here. I'll come. I'll go pick up Virginia Fisherman. We'll do it. We'll do it again. Yeah, it is like Guatemala. I was a bit confused. I thought it was like two hours after. No. Guatemala, but they're now behind. they're yeah, behind. They're behind. Yeah. Thank you, whoever's with us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much for for checking us out. Yeah. Thank you. Swing by and pick me up too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the whole day. <laughs> Virginia, Virginia fisherman lives way out, 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 out. How far? Like twelve hours? Or? It's it's out there. It's out there. It's like in the middle of beautiful big ranches out there. Just land, land, lots of crops. Is there cows. Like a, is it like a seven-hour drive? Or? No, no, it's about an, with no traffic, an hour, ten minutes. Really? Yeah. Thank you. We have eight people. Thank you so much, people who who, who joined us. Cut me. <laughs> that would be awesome. Come down here, man. There's some big catfish down here. When they start biting, they go nuts. That's in the fall. In, a, in the fall, in, for sure. People say the winter. I don't know. And I'm, I'm kind of a picky fisherman. It's just, the weather's just gotta be just right. Yeah. Only three and a half hours. Owen Wright, thank you for joining in. Oh, Owen. Owen, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Morales, Texas fishing. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Greetings from San Antonio. Yep. That's my hometown. That's where I actually I grew up. I grew up in San Antonio. Uh, born and raised San Antonio, and then I moved up here to the DC area in 2002. Uh, my high school was Robert E. Lee High School. At that time, it was called Robert E. Lee. I'm not sure. I think that was just Lee High School. Um, yeah, San Antonio. I used to go fish Calaveras Lake and Bronick Lake all the time. I won't. I won't lie to you. I didn't catch big monster fish, but I would go down there all the time, all the time. Center, Morales. Yeah, I used to do a lot of fishing down in Bronick Lake, Calaveras Lake. They stock, those two lakes, they stock them with redfish. Um, they're like finger lengths, and the redfish down there, they grow very rapidly, very fast, because the water's so hot. It's like an incubator, so the redfish get enormously large. I mean, they're just huge. Uh, uh, yes, Lee High School now. Yeah, they took off the Robert E. Lee. I remember in, I think it was 92, 90, I was standing right in front of the gym when they were taking down the Confederate flag. I mean, that, that, that's been around for a long, long time. Um, I remember the news was out there. That, that was, our school yeah, flag yeah. was a Confederate flag. So I, was, I remember Calaveras as well. It's awesome, yeah. Red fishes are delicious. I, I bet they are. Thank you so much. Thank you, Luis Alvarez has just joined. Thank you so much. Um, I remember catching a huge in Calaveras Lake. I would drive all the way, as you come in, all the way to the left towards, I guess, that the dam. And man, I remember catching a huge, huge uh, uh, hybrid. They used to call them hybrid. I think it's um, it's, it's mixed between um, a, stripe, a striper and, and a white bass, I think it is. Maybe someone can help me out. The hybrid, hybrid bass or stri striper. Hybrid. Someone asked um, what's the bait that we use? Eel. It's always gonna be eel. Here it's always, we go and purchase it at an Asian market. It, it's about maybe five minute drive from where I live. Um, we, we think we think the world of eel. All, all my big fish have been, most of my big fish have been caught on cut eel. Uh, my second favorite bait will be cut white perch. Um, my biggest, biggest catfish was caught on cut white perch, which is 52 pounds. Someone asked, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Cut eel, we use chunks, I don't know, maybe two or three inches. Today they come kind of small, but as you can see, there's nothing going on. Get some fresh shad. Absolutely, I would love for Mike to have some fresh shad and fish beside me and let's see which one which one does, does better. I mean, shad, shad, people say it's number one and I agree, but I can't, I can't go and I can't, I can't get shad. We tried shad, but it, it wasn't very active on the day. No, we, we tried owlwives. Owlwives. Yeah, owlwives. Owlwives. There's a long one there. Owlwives. Yeah. Kerlin, 94, yes. I still hit up Calaveras and burn as much as possible. You're talking about stripped, ba stri striped bass, a.k.a. striper. Striped bass. Striper, yeah, but I thought they were hybrid. They're hybrid in there. That they were crossed between two fish. Stripe, I don't know. But I remember catching it, it was big. Yeah. Not long, but it was kind of like stocky. It was awesome. 
<clears throat> so right before I moved up here in 2002, about two years before, which is I guess the year 2000, I would drive down to, to Corpus Christi and Corpus Christi, I didn't, I didn't know exactly where to go fish at Corpus Christi, but I would go down to Rockport. Rockport, Texas, that, that's where the, the eye of the hurricane just hit last year. I mean, it wiped out Rockport, Texas, but that that is that was my go my to-go place to go and fish. We would stay at a, at, a, at a motel, not a hotel, I said motel. It's uh, it's called Balboa Quartz. I'm not even sure if it's still there or not. They have a, a over a hundred yard pier and we would go to the end and we would put um, small live crabs and catch giant black drum. I'm talking about giants. How big? Big. I'm, uh, anywhere between 40 to 60, maybe even 70 pounds. That's huge. Yeah. The black drum, they, they, they kind of hit kind of weird. You know, they, they have that first burst mm -hmm. and they take some drag and then after that, they just kind of, once you turn them, they kind of give up. And then once they see the net, they take off again. Yeah, we've caught, not, someone also asked, um, what have we caught? No, what have we caught today? Nothing, nothing. nothing. We, we don't want to bore you guys. I appreciate if you come by and yeah. check us out for a little bit, but it is slow. We had two taps, two guard bites, and, and that's it. Uh, whoever, whoever just joined, let me just show you real quick what I did to my whisker seeker rods. I added high reflective tape. Let me show you that. Whoever, whoever had, hadn't seen it just wanted to show that. And then the LEDs, we're using whisker, whisker sticks. We missed a... It's cross of bass and white bass. Okay. I knew it was a hybrid. It has to be crossed with something. I remember going down there in Calaveras and we would try everything. We would try even crawfish. They would sell crawfish down there. Um, perch. Hello, Oki. Oki. Thank you so much, Oki, for stopping by. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, it's slow night tonight. We're trying. We've been here what an hour and a half. Two guard bites. We were out here with the family. I think it was Monday night. It was awesome, and uh, we landed two longnose gar. It was it was the first time we actually hooked in. We we actually hooked we hooked them. Um, the other guards that we had caught in the past several months, they just chomp down on the line. They don't open up. But so today we added a piece of um, the Mike Chavez famous rope here. We didn't do it the way he did it, but we just tied a little bit to it and see what happens. It's been slow. It's been in two weeks. What did it say? It's Brother, day. we'll yeah. be in Rockport in two weeks. We stay there twice a month and port a Rockport. Yeah, Rockport port Aransas. Yeah, port is a port home away. Yeah, you, you have a Rockport. Port Aransas and Aransas Pass, those are like three really, really TNT close. TNT Balls, thank you for joining Thank in. you, thank you, appreciate that, yeah. It's home away from home. But like I said, check it out. If you have time, check out, uh, it's called Balboa Quartz. Um, man, we used, we used to kill it. We used to do really, really awesome. Big black drum. Did we ever go there? Um, you, we, we were down there, you must have been three or four years old. So you were small. You were small. Did we even catch anything? Um, we did, I have some pictures. Man, it's good seeing y'all guys, man. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that you joined in for a while. I don't want to bore you because we're not catching any fish. We're trying. We're trying. There's a helicopter every 20 minutes. Oh, my my uh, my daughter Bella. She's on with uh with Mason. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Mason. They're at home. Thank you, thank you, Virginia. Appreciate that. Like I said, we're gonna do the fishing trip again, hopefully in the in the fall. They're saying hi to Bella, yeah. Bella, and then our uh, my uh, two-year-old son, Mason. Mason. Yeah. And maybe Ma. The, the fa He's not watching. Oh, he's not watching. Okay, he must have oh. fell asleep. Um, like I said, the family was. We have a video I put out. We're the family was out here uh, Monday night, and we caught two car. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> So those were just joining. They, they were really big guards. Well. They were long guard, yeah. That last one was pretty Huge. chunky, long and chunky. Yeah. It was awesome. Nice. Like who's catching them? <laughs> Man, I, we need to see a rod go down. 
What you using for bait tonight? Cut eel. Cut eel. Cut eel. I love the eel. Lots and guts and everything. The whole thing. The, this, this, the baby one here has has got the head on there. The head and the rest just got chunks. Nice. They're, they're not they're not really really big chunks today. They're I would say two inches or smaller. They didn't cut them very big, so that's kind of a good thing. Really? Yeah. I, you don't really like to use big big pieces. No, I, I I really don't. Does eel taste good? I don't know. I've never tried eel. <laughs> I was going back and checking out uh, Luke Catfish and Carp. Uh, he, he, he caught several ear and uh, several eel, eel and he uh, cooked them and he said he loves eating eel. I've never, I've never tried it. All right, Bella. What did she say? She's playing Fortnite. Oh, she's playing Fortnite? Oh, you killed someone. Oh, good job for killing someone. Come on, Bella. <laughs> Guys, those who had logged in real quick once again. I'm sure y'all saw the thumbnail. Let me just show you the rods. I wrapped them with high reflective tape. Thanks, thrower. Well, you said you didn't want to call someone, so I'm going to call you thrower. I've had it in sushi. Oki says it's tasty if you're eating in sushi. Huh. I could play sushi. What did it say there? Are you going to be on Fortnite later? Who? Cookie? Yeah. Cookie, you probably oh, be on Fortnite. Right, Owen. Yes, I'll check it out in both. What do you say about the icons? I caught my 70-pound pound black drum in India, Naloa, Texas, Texas, near Fort La Vaca. Wow. I don't think I've caught one that big, but we've caught some really, really big ones. And we've always used uh, crabs. We go and purchase the smallest crab that we can buy it, and that's what works for us. Not sure what, what Morales has used in the past. I see people just use shrimp. It's just chewy, but it's got a nice seafood taste. I bet you it is chewy, because it is hard for them to cut it. How do they have to put like force? Um, so when I go buy it, um, I guess the right way for them to control it better is they're supposed to put it in a tub and they they electrocute it. They kind of shock it, yeah. and then they, it just gets stiff and they cut it that way. But the other guys that work there, they just put it in a bag and they just go chopping it up. <laughs> I know, it's not... It's kind of weird. I won't eat eel or carp. Yeah, I mean... I was talking uh, to the biologist and the people who patrol these areas and they were saying that it's really not recommended to eat eel uh, carp. or carp or or even the, the, the rockfish from here. They're, they're just saying it's it's not recommended at all. Have you ever fished on the Chesapeake Bay? Um, two years ago, yes. Um, we didn't we didn't catch anything. That's that's kind of when when I was starting to get into the YouTube thing and picking up my fishing and learning how where to fish. Do we have a hey, chunky cats? Thank you. No, no. Hello, that Jimmy was, Dixon. Thank you for joining. Thank in. you. Thank you so much for joining. It's not recorded. Um, I've always wondered if, if the Ches Chesapeake has carp in there because one time we were out there on a pier. And we can see some huge, huge shadows. Don't you remember two or three years ago? <clears throat> we're, we, they were, the people were fishing towards the end of the pier and then right where it's shallow, we could see some giant shadows swimming, I swimming think by. so, maybe. Okay. I think so, maybe. Two or three years ago. Do you use anything as bait that I could eat? <laughs> Chicken, shrimp, and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. When I fish on the bay, I catch crab, and once I caught a stingray. Guys, I, I love catching stingray. I mean, if it's a big stingray, it puts an awesome fight. I love, I enjoy it. It's just hard to like get it up and stuff. Oh yeah, my wife starts freaking out. Yeah. Ah, cut the line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the new member of the chunky cats. Yeah, yeah. He, he is with that giant fish that you caught. <laughs> How big was it? Was it like this small? This small? That, that thing was huge. What? <laughs> Wait, where's the chat at? Um. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some big stingrays being caught out there. Uh, Virginia Fisher. Yeah, Virginia Fisherman. He was out there. He actually bought a brand new reel. He caught a huge, a huge, he caught a, a huge stingray yeah. and it busted his reel out. It busted his reel. It like was a casting reel. Was out? It, it just, he couldn't crank anymore. It just, it, it destroyed oh. all the, the gears or something inside. I heard something. 
I use Man, H-E-B. H -E -B. I haven't... There's no H-E-B. H-E-B doesn't exist up here. <laughs> What's H-E-B? H-E-B, it's like a giant or Safeway up here. Oh. Don't you remember when we go down to Texas? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. H-E-B. We That's the first place we go is H-E-B. <laughs> go and get our stuff we need. I didn't know. Yeah, sure. Am. You can catch it's a lot the of Croker. Yeah, Croker are fun. Small. As soon as you pick them up, um, don't you remember you can hear? Yeah, quack, quack. Uncle, Uncle Leroy. Yeah, you hold it up to your ear. You put it, and he was. Yeah, they were croaking. It, it went into my. Ear. Yeah, they're they're a tough them. little fish. I mean, they got those really really um, spiny back. Yeah, you got yeah. you got to hold them quick. You got to hold them right. I could just see, when he put it up to my ear. It, he was croaking. It's, it's been like touched my ear. It felt really weird. Hit that like button, people support Chunky Cats. Thank yep, you, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. HB has really good meats to smoke. I they do. Shrimp, I use shrimp for channel cats. Really bony. I think maybe we should start using different bait or something because, man, either the catfish just <gasps> shut rat, down. Rat, 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 rat. There's a rat. <laughs> There's rats out here. There was rats out here on Monday when we were out here. Did, we, did you put some of the rats in the video? Video? No, there's no rats in the video. <laughs> Use rate as bad. Day. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Man, I've been fishing a total. What I say, six or seven times. A week. No, no, no. twice a week. But man, it's been slow. It's been terrible. I tried a new spot in Old Town, Alexandria, and I did. I did okay. I uh. I caught two catfish in two hours, which is not great, great, but I caught them. It's better than right now. But I didn't. I just didn't want to post. Maybe I will. We'll see. I, I live in Alexandria. Do you really? Yeah. What? I know. I play with him on console. So he's here, Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah. He goes to school like near here. So oh, does he? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jimmy Dixon, thank you for yep. joining. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. We've been Alexandria from The Walking Dead. Hey, what are you guys catching? Uh, we're trying to catch catfish Alexandria today, but it's slow today. What? Catfish. Oh wow. Yeah. Today? Not today. Not today. Not today. Okay. I hope. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. This is Angler TV. Thank you for joining in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks. So if you're you just joined, we're trying, we're trying hard, but it just we're not even have, the gar stopped biting. I, uh, like I said, as soon as I I add this rope to my hook to see if, if the gar their teeth will get caught up in this, it it always shuts down, right? Yeah. They should take off the rope. Yeah, probably. Someone also, oh, um, Owen just said, is it illegal to fish by the torpedo factory? <laughs> you get the joke? No. I don't think that's a joke. Okay. Is it legal to fish by the torpedo factory? Um, <clears throat> I was fishing by a park. Man, I, that, that's why I was trying. I, I, guys, I'm always scouting out new places where to go fish. And it's in Old Town, and I forget what street it was on. It's a place have, in Old Town. It is in Old Town, yes. I'll have to look at the uh, torpedo factory. I'm not sure. There's a torpedo factory? Yeah, it's a restaurant. No, that's a place. Oh, I thought he meant our torpedo factory. Why don't you use mono for gar? It's mono. I'm not monofilament. I'm not oh. sure what. I need more information on that. Monofil it was used in the 30s or 40s. Oh, 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 here we go, guys. Where are we at? That, that one just hit. Where are we? I can't point. <laughs> that one, that one just had a bump right there. <laughs> Hello, Cookie and Cookie's dad. Hello, Bill Flint. <laughs> Monofilament. One day in the next year or so, and me and my family are coming to tour Washington, D.C. I'll be sure to ask if you want to fish with us. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. We just, had a, we just had a gar bite. The furthest rod from us just had a gar bite. I think he means a torpedo factory. No, no, he's saying... It's probably on the water. It's a waterfront restaurant. Yeah. He's asking, can you fish near there? No, I mean a, a bomb factory. No. <laughs> Hope you hammer them tonight. I'm going to there tomorrow. 
Corey Nihel Nahold. Thank you for joining in. Guys, gonna try them too. Come down. Like I said, it's catfishing. For some reason, it. I haven't had a lot of luck. I've, I've been out lots, lots of times. Catfishing is slow, and I thought we were catching just right. The tide was moving in, so we had we had a tide coming up. I tried to go and, it, and it's still coming up, but we it's want, slow. They want to visit the Smithsonian. Absolutely, there's plenty, plenty of Smithsonians there everywhere. To go, Absolutely, um, fishing tonight. <clears throat> And forgot his rod holders. Oh, I hate when I forget something. And it just, it almost ruins fishing. Yeah, if, I forgetting mean. Forgetting his rag is like. Yeah, forgetting a rag. Well, today, today you don't so much need a rag when you're not catching fish. Yeah, we forgot our black light holders. Yeah, well, that that's, I have them on the floor. Um, but I, I forgot my net. I, it just, there's always something we forget. Uh, hey, how many, how many have you caught out there? Chris Jones, we have. Uh, we have caught zero and two gar bites. <laughs> Three gar bites. Three we just we bites. just had a, a gar bite just two minutes ago. It was just like a tap. Do you know Captain Carp? Do I know him? Um, I've met him twice and I got to fish beside him. I met him three times and got to fish beside him twice. I know he fishes at the spot you're at. Uh, yeah. Yes, further down that way. Yeah. Hope you hammer some big ones. Yeah, uh, uh, Luke from Catfishing Carp is amazing, Tyler guys. He's, he's my outdoors. favorite YouTuber. Thank you for joining in, thank, and thank you for good luck. See y'all later. Bye, Oki Catfishing. Gonna eat dinner with the family here at Paris Negras de Noche restaurant on I-35 near town and Dot Fudge Bajita Plate. Good night. Oh man, Wanna awesome. Check his fishing, fishing. Enjoy. Hope, hope it's a good meal. Man, okay. there's there's just not a lot of good rest Mexican restaurants down here. It just yeah. what's the, what's the one that you know Mexican restaurant? We will get fajitas. Baja Fresh. No, please. Mm -hmm. Don Julio's. Oh, Don Julio. Don Julio. What is it, Uncle Uncle Uncle, Uncle Don Julius? Don Uncle Julius. Don Julio. I saw Luke's video today when he shot a bunch of of guns. That was awesome. I what? saw that video too. Yes. What? He 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 was in Las Vegas. Yeah. And he went to a place where you can go and pick any gun that you want to shoot. Mm -hmm. You have to wait to, to be called, and they take him to a special place to shoot it. And mm -hmm. oh, 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 we're having hits. I think we have a gar on, okay. guys. I think we have a gar on. Are you using Chad? No, we're no. using eel. all eel. Eel, always eel. Fishing with my my my, my Chad is gonna bring my nice chest full of shad yeah. when he comes down here. <laughs> I'll have to buy it from him. Hello, fishing with Fredo. Thank you, thank you, guys, for joining. Mm -hmm. Guys, those who, those who have just joined, I just want to show you the project that I worked on for oh, like two days. I I did high reflective tape, wrapped them on my rods. I was hoping to show you that when Cookie's fighting the fish and the rods bending over, but that's that's the high reflective tape. Wait, Luke fished in Japan? Yes, he caught a huge carp out there. Hmm. So, those who are still here, just want to you show you that. Did you the water before fishing? Um, for carp, yes. For catfish, no. Maybe I should. Oh, uh, yeah, and he said it used to be a bomb factory. Oh, really? Where, where they're shooting the guns at? No, at the torpedo place. Oh. It used to be in okay. the 1930s and 40s. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I, I don't chum the water, not for catfish. Because I, I, to me, when I cast, I'm trying to cast as far as I can out. And... Not that I can throw a mile, but I, I can get pretty pretty out there. What's up, Cookie? Mm -hmm. Fishing with Fernie. What? Oh, there's a fish on. There's a fish there's on. Fish. Go get him. Where? Where'd you? That's a guard. Bring it in slow. Oh. Bring it in slow. It's a guard on there. Don't, remember I said don't pull him too hard. Nice and easy. Is he on there? I don't know. Okay. Is this shining on the light? Is it shining? Yeah, it's on. You're on. You're good. Nice and easy. I'm bringing him in. Does it feel like you have something on there? Is that really? No. Yeah, right, I, I think we missed him. We'll see. It's a gar. I mean. It... Yeah, I don't think there's anything on. Okay, there. we'll get it back out there. Nope. Um, why did I do that? Okay, it's good. Nothing. Alright. Let me get it back.
it back out there. Is that rope stuff I have? It's everywhere. All right, go check the comments for me. Glow stick reel, awesome. Yep. Oh wow, that's right. Oh. There we go. Okay. Ugh. I think that's all right for now. Southern Fisherman, thank you for joining in. You will catch it next time, yep. Have you ever seen Corey in the house? It was a great show about watching Corey in the house. I I've only, Gar or a pain. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they feel nice when you catch them, you feel accomplished because it's really hard to catch them. Uh, thank you, Card Newhold. Thank you for joining in and thank you uh, for the nice comment. Have you seen Corey in the house? I've n I have never seen the show. I seen Corey at the store yesterday. <coughs> let's, let's get this back. Alligator guard? No, not alligator guard, long nose guard. Yeah, long nose guard. Looking for the big. So as much as I understand the long nose gar and and the spotted gar are very very close looking, but we have here is long nose gar. What are we? Keeping up? Yeah. What was the last one? Let's see something. We're trying. We're trying to catch the big fish, but I like I said, I've been fishing the last two or three weeks. Catfishing has just shut down for some reason. I caught two last week at a different spot. They were maybe three or four pounds a piece. Catching cooks and gar. <laughs> we get that a lot. <laughs> My wife was, she's up for it, but I think we need to take it somewhere for someone to clean it for us. Because I, I don't even I, know. Guys, I don't, believe it or not, I, as a fisherman, everyone should have a fillet knife. I don't even own a fillet knife. Do you That's ever bad. go crabbing? Um, no. Scotty we were... Hill, aka Catfish and Freak, thank you for thank joining you. in. Thank you, thank you, Scotty. Appreciate that. Um, no, no, no crabbing. There's no crabs in, in here, and in, in, where we're fishing here in DC, you have to. I guess you have to go to the Chesapeake, but no. We're down in Ocean City. Yeah. Ocean City, what month ago? Yeah. We didn't do no crabbing. We went, what is crabbing? crabbing I, I believe when he says crabbing, either you go and get a small net and you, peer, you put a piece of chicken in the middle oh. and he'll go on it and you pick it up really nice and slow. That's I guess that's what he means by crabbing. Gar egg sacs are poisonous. Huh? The gar's egg sacs are poisonous. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Long nose gar too? Hmm. Get a bubble blade good knife. Okay. Mm. Hard to clean. Gar I was I was clean. trying to win that that Mike Chavez giveaway. That was a long time ago. He gave away a nice fillet knife. I wonder if the big ones are going deeper in that area. Um, if they're here in the tidal basin, is this is man-made, and they have paddle boats during the daytime. There's paddle boats that come out here, and it's 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 consistent. So this is either going to be anywhere the depth is going to be from six to maybe ten feet deep. So I don't think in the tidal basin there's deep pockets. It's man-made. So when you're saying deep pockets, I think you're saying that they headed out of the tidal basin and they're in the river somewhere towards the rocks. You use, you can use a string with a piece of chicken on the end. Exactly, and you bring it up really nice and slow. Yeah, I see that. So I guess that's what he meant by crabbing. Yeah. How are we doing, guys, tonight? If you're asking us, it's slow, very good night slow. And good luck and God bless each one. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate that. We're trying. We get excited with those hits. But he hit twice. Hmm. 
get them on here. Bring one. Bring it. Here. Come on, sit down. Okay. Just read the comments. Giveaways are always good, guys. If you can do giveaways. <clears throat> I, I try to be high energy. <laughs> I told Cookie we're just kind of shutting down, so I tell him, go, go get some of this for us. We need a little pep. Thank you so much. Yeah, like I said, guys, catfishing here has been just so, so slow. You okay? I want to check and see if there's a rat. Okay, any rats? <laughs> Come on, you're meeting catch up with some comments. Sorry. <laughs> Are you still alive? We're I'm here. Still, yeah, we're still oh, here. Patriot, Patriot, Patriot. Where is it? I'll oh, hold on. I'll get it. I'll go get it. Go get it. Don't leave just yet, Patriot. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Guys, if those are those of you who, who are not subscribed to Patriot, please he has um I guess it's kind of a challenge or an encouragement that anyone who, who goes fishing to get an, an, an American flag to in support of the veterans. Um he's got a much better way of explaining it. Check out his video please. And um he challenged me to do it and, and I went to Home Depot and I got the flag. I'm trying to get there else in high energy so I can go after the cats. Do it. America. <laughs> All right. High on energy. Uh, doing. All right. I left off. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway of a plastic cow figurine when I hit 300. What do you guys think? Yeah. Of a plastic cow figurine? Hey, you know what? A giveaway is a giveaway. Exactly. Free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. I wish they would they would be more cat fishermen doing more cat fishing giveaways. Um, I I enter a lot of the bass fishermen giveaways. I have won a few of them. I have lures. I win them, but I don't use them. I don't use them. So I gave some away already, but I I have more to give away because they're, they're just at home. Then I'm not gonna use them. We need to try bass fishing one time, just like just to lose some calories or something. <laughs> Walk around. Yeah. Yeah, we need to. Do, I don't know. In the near the daytime though. Yeah. Because I've never. I want to see what bash fishing is kind of. Mountain Dew is good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Second to last rod is bending a little. Maybe slack line. Uh, well, none of the rods have slack line. Maybe that's just way I have position them, but. That's crazy. What, what was it, two or three weeks ago when we were live, Cookie caught two 30 pound catfish? Yeah. It was nuts that day. And then after that, it just shut down. That, that That's it. I'll do another knife to it. John McCain died. Fishing with. What? John McCain died. Who's John McCain? Is that for real? Is that real stuff? Who's John McCain? He he had ran for president. He's um I don't get this wrong, but I think he was a congressman or something. Yep. They're saying yep. In 2008. I didn't know that. I didn't know he passed away. Wow. I remember that. I think one of the last votes, something about Trump, 
he, he needed he Trump needed him to, to vote yay and he was the last vote that went up and he did this and then I remember he he just went like that because I remember Trump was he said some mean stuff about him wow so Trump could have become president hmm? Trump could no no he was trying to get something passed oh well, I have the flag right next to me. This is your good name here? Sure. You with mm -hmm. This one. I'm Fredo. Fredo? Fredo. Fredo. I, I, How do you pronounce I'm hoping we're fishing with Fredo. Fredo? Fredo. Mm -hmm. I'm saying Fredo. I have. I must I must have missed, but I so I haven't I haven't seen Goodbye and I haven't seen one of one of his uh, one of his videos in the past two weeks. I need to catch up. I'll never forget. He was out fishing one time and he, he has an awesome, I guess, is it a trolley motor? But it's electric. He controls it with the with the remote control. <laughs> and I remember that he launches his boat, and his boat his boat is supposed to stay still. Mm -hmm. This happened like I don't know three or four months ago. And mm -hmm. he goes and parks his truck, mm -hmm. and he's trying to call his boat so he can jump on the boat, mm -hmm. and it wasn't responding. So his boat it was windy that day, and his boat just took off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing at you, but it. It was kind of hilarious seeing the boat. Wait, what, did, he, did he get his boat back? <laughs> he did, but he had to call um, some relative. I don't know if it was his brother-in-law or someone. He had to call his brother-in-law so his brother-in-law could bring his, his boat. <laughs> it, <laughs> Go get that boat. I'm sorry, I'm not making fun of you. It, yeah. was, it was a great video. <laughs> it was an awesome video. Patriot thing, I can't thank you enough for that. Yeah. Absolutely, here's our two flags. Did it? Did it? Yep. We had it on our on our rolling cart, yeah. but it's dark over there, so we brought it. Where Cookie has one on his chair, Done. there, mm -hmm. and I have mine over here. Laugh at me, please. <laughs> <laughs> My friends watch, loves watching fishing on YouTube, but I, but don't want to go real fishing because of mosquitoes. Uh, we we have a lot of repellent on today. And the mosquitoes are at a minimal today. They were really active, the mosquitoes, about a month ago. But you know what we saw Monday when, sorry, when we were fishing with the family? There was lots of bats out here. Lots of bats. And believe it or not, the bats were attacking my green fishing line. Today I'm using orange line. They haven't, they haven't bothered my fishing line. but um, So I know when there's bats, it's a good thing because they're, they're, they're going after the mosquitoes. They're going after everything yeah. that's flying around. Kentucky Catman, thank you for joining thank in. Thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Catman. <laughs> Cookie always gets excited when he sees yeah. join in. So do I. We all get excited. Thank you, you so much. Ever, uh, Owen says, do you ever use your fishing boat uh, not in the basin? No, that boat, man. I still consider that boat to be brand new because we bought it and it hasn't touched water in the last three and a half years. We need to take it out. We need to go to Full Mile Run. We need to fix it up first. You have to fix it up. It's brand new. It's clean brand it new. out. Oh, I just mean. clean it. Yeah, that takes half a day to clean it out, yeah. bleach it out. Bones one two eight nine. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Can't stay long. It's a busy weekend. Okay. Just if, if you just join, let me. Those it. who have just joined. Let me show you my fishing rods, guys, please. I worked really, really hard with adding this high reflective tape. So I was hoping to show you that um, while Cookie was catching a fish and you can see the action, the bend. Um, but I worked really, really hard doing something, I don't know, something different. Uh, someone just joined Maria's, mm -hmm. Maria's World. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Appreciate mm -hmm. that. Where do you hide when you fish? when you fish for four mile run? Um, well, you're not supposed to at the shoppers. At the, I think it's um, the container store. It's the one that's, so what I do is I go, pr in the morning when I get there, I go purchase a, a sandwich at Subway, and then I hold the receipt and I park near there, and then I walk, but it's a far walk because you have to go underneath all those bridges, and it's really sketchy going to four mile run. Not really that worth it. Um, it is worth it. The problem is that the last time I went out there, which is several months ago, I mean, you're, I mean, you're carrying all your equipment. You have your net, your landing mat, because carp is it's it's excellent down there. Uh -huh. 
and your fishing rods, it's heavy. And I, I'm exhausted and out of breath. When I got out there the last time, there was someone already fishing there. And oh man, I mean, you're out of breath. And, this, and there's only one spot you can fish at four mile run if you go down there. Um, at least where I go. Um, I, I, those of you want to see my uh, video, there's, I have one, it's called the Mud Pit, and another one, Epic Fight, Fighting Three Carp at one, one time. time. It is nuts. The carp down there, they're stacked. So, not kid friendly? Not kid friendly. Um, I mean, if you go with the grown up, and the grown up is, how can I say, Weapon on? Yeah, I guess if you're carrying, I, I, I'm a CCW holder, so I, I'm always carrying my sidearm. But still, I just, just looking for trouble going down there. You said there was like a tunnel. Um, a you're going underneath a lot of, a lot of. It's just, it's just weird. Mm. What is it here, Kasky? Wait, wait. Okay. That's an excellent, excellent question. Okay, the casking, the casking rod. Okay, I'm, I'm only gonna speak on the seven foot medium action, okay? I know most cat fishermen are gonna frown this, me saying this, but to me, I love a seven foot rod. I love anything that's seven or even less than seven foot. So the casking, the medium action with cookie, um, if those of you, I'm gonna post a video just on that on that one catch. Go go to uh, the last video we, we were live, and it says uh, catching two trophy catfish. The first one Cookie caught was on the Cat King Cat Tech, and it performed flawlessly. It it performed the way I expect a rod to perform. Um, to answer the question, I love the Cat King Cat Tech. I love it. Um, does it have some flaws to it? Possibly. Here, bring it, bring it. It's right there. Hold on. I'm going to bring it right here. This is a good opportunity. Get it. Oh, okay. I thought you used to do No, it. go get it. Uh, Owen says, do we ever fish in the Potomac? Um, believe it or not, the Potomac, from where we're at right now, it's only 50 yards over this bridge. 100 yards over the, and it's in the Potomac River. Have I fished it? Yes. But I had more luck here. Come on, bring it. I'm trying to grab it from the part. I don't break it or So... We were getting a bite. Oh, we getting a bite. Oh. This is Watch. Angler TV. Thank you for joining us. Guys, and goodbye. You're gonna you're gonna see this rod. I'm gonna show you real quick what I did. So this also has high reflective tape, but this has the rim tape. Um, if, if those who keep up with my videos, my other rods, I'm not using rim tape, high reflective rim tape. Um, that's that's separate tape. Um, let me just turn the light on. It's gonna blind you. Cookie, just careful. So, uh, that's too much. Let me see if you can see this here or not. Can y'all see this guy? This this rod has been wrapped with monofilament. And the reason y'all might say, why did you do that for? I did that because I, I normally fish with black lights. So, all this here, it's monofilament. And underneath the, mono, the monofilament, it's got the high-vis reflectant tape. Um, but this rod is probably my favorite rod. Now, if, is there is there things that kayak fishermen not, might not like? Is that from your reel, the reel here, and the first eye, the first eye, seems to be very, very close. Um, does that affect the way it casts? It does not. But I noticed that one of my other ugly sticks, the, er, the first eye, it's further up here. Um, it has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, that's eight guides. That's a lot of guides. But let me see here. Let me turn off this light, maybe. So, anyways, guys, the Casking Cat Tech is probably one of my favorite rods. Hackfish Hunter 47, thank you for joining in. Right back at you. Um, fish out here in California. So, anyways, I if I took too long to answer that question, but I just I'm not using it because we're right now we're just using all Whisker Seeker. Oh, that that go tie this line up. Uh, 
right. Someone was right, because that second one did. <sighs> Guys, those, those who are just joined, please. Uh, no, this one, yeah, that one. Just a little bit. A little bit more, just one more crank. That's good, that's good. All right, you want to catch up with some comments here? Oh, yes. 47, I joined you. Uh... Thank you, thank you. Please, guys, uh, sub, sub. Sub, sub, sub each other, please. Oh. Guys, y'all, please support each other. Maria's world, please um, sub her. She's amazing. She'll, she'll keep up with you guys. She'll watch your videos. I, just, uh, I read all the comments. So yeah, so once again guys, the, the reason I like the cat tech, when Kuki caught that 30 pound catfish, it was probably pushing the rod's limits. I'm sure that that rod can handle way, way more beyond that, but Kuki was having trouble um, lifting it up because just the action. Um, <clears throat> we were live and I had the phone too close and I missed a lot of the awesome action. I wish I would have been further back. Um, I took Kuki for now one when we're live the front, the front facing camera, I need to be further back so we can see most of the action. Um, so I, I know some people when they, when there's a new rod that comes out, the first thing they want to go do is go, go catch a shark with it. Guys, if, if, if I see a, if I see a rod that I'm thinking about buying and if I see it handles a hundred pound shark to me, that, that rod is out. I, I'm not interested no more. I want to have a rod that's going to barely catch the fish. And I, I like to have that fear that, man, I wonder if it can handle this 30, 40, 50 pound catfish. And to me, the, 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 the Kasky, uh, Kasking Cat Tech, it does it for me. The Cat Tech was put into metal, press, and didn't break. Yeah. So, the, another good thing about the... Hello, the, Mr. Bell. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. Uh, an, an, are your black lights 12 volts? Um, they are 12 volts and they're 20 watts LEDs. I'm waiting when you make a new extreme catfish rod and put your name on it. <laughs> One day, that would be awesome. They're gonna call, they're gonna be called uh, chunky cat rods. Hello, Carter. Carter, not Carter. Oh, what is it then? I missed them. Carter. Which one are you saying hi to? Cookie, my son says hi. Oh, okay. Oh, my son. Car oh, yeah, I did read that. Oh, I'm sorry, I did. I was looking at the name, the actual. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. I'm here waiting too to see what the rods been. Don't wait too long because we've been here, we've been live for over an hour, and we were here an hour before that. So there's not a lot going on, guys. I, I I'm not here to waste your time. I, I don't I don't do that. I took cookie. I took cookie at first. Let's wait to that catch a fish. Russell, thank you for joining. In. Let's wait to catch a fish, and then we go live. And he's like, okay, okay, Dad, it's getting dark already. Are we gonna go live or not? So that's we're live. We have not caught any caught anything, but we have gotten like four bites. Yeah, four four gar bites. I mean, I, I can I think we can easily tell on that when it's a catfish or a gar. I'll put some money towards the rod idea. <laughs> if I created a rod, it's gonna look from a distance, it's gonna have something like that. High reflective tape. I love that. I love it. Yeah, you're gonna have to wrap every single. <laughs> my my rod. my daughter Bella laughs at me because I put the rods in the corner, and then I, I I hold a flashlight. I'm like 20, 30 feet away, and I'm just hitting that flashlight. And, and my daughter Bella says, "Dad, are you okay?" I was like, "No, I'm not." <laughs> Please do it. Please. <laughs> Man, so the mosquitoes are getting me now. They got my head twice already. Where? Back here. Uh, what did I say? <laughs> Put braided rope around your bait and garas on boy rope get stuck in their teeth. Exactly. And, and believe it or not, I don't have braid line. I have the Mike Chavez. This right here. Um, 
don't know what you call this. Um, they're, they're just they're just strands of the rope, and I have this tied to it. So all of these have this rope tied to it. So if we have a guard hit, we, we should be able to snag him. He's gonna get caught up in this. Thing is, is that once you put on the rope, nothing, everything just goes away. <laughs> did Did you say that or you read it? You read no. It's true. So what Cookie said. We noticed, guys, that when we've added this rope in the past, the garbite, it ends. I'm not saying that they're smart or intelligent, but they know something's up. Enjoy you guys going live and take, taking us fishing with you. We lost we lots of night fishing here in Cali. My wife hates I run the truck all night, just have the lights on. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate it. I, I, I know I enjoy when they're... Oh, 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 right here. Here we go. Here we go. It's, I think he's on there. He's on there. Come, come on, come on. It's so bad. Okay, just tighten it up slowly. It's so bad. No, Cookie, over here. You got the wrong rod, silly. Come on, genius. He's not snagged. All right, Cookie. Oh, you catch up with the. I'm gonna put some spray on my head. Put it back at the right positioning. All right. Are they yep. okay? Can you see? Yeah, I can see. No, can they see the rods, Cookie? Oh no. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fight again. <laughs> I made my new bobbers. They use whisker sticks and then fish on. Some action. This is me staring at my screen. Ah, we got two drinks. We have a Mountain Dew, and then we have. We brought this at the very beginning of our trip. It's it's around a quarter of the way down. A big Sunny D bottle. <laughs> We're both addicted to Sunny D. No, we're not. We just bought that for the first time. Hey, we were addicted already. <laughs> already? <laughs> we bought some. We on the way over here. We stopped to get some Mountain Dew. I told Cookie, I don't want. I don't want to see you yawning. Cookie gets tired. No, no don't even do that. <laughs> don't even do that. Oh my! What are you snacking on, Cookie? Oops. You what are you you had something on right now? Uh yeah, I was eating this. Oh. Fruit loops. Mom was nice to pack Cookie. Yeah. Fruit Loops. He he finished it. Yeah. He had cereal, Fruit Loops cereal in here. Yeah, where's the nuts I gave you? <laughs> ask ask what my wife packed me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she takes care of the baby. <laughs> Mountain right. Dew's really strong. Yeah. That's why I keep you awake. All right, where's the nuts? The nuts? Yeah. Why haven't you eaten these? They're still. I, I don't want to be munching while we're talking. I I can't even hear you. All right. Are you keeping up, Cookie? Uh mm huh. -hmm. I think you missed something. Nope. I keep hearing a bell. On my Facebook page. <laughs> of, what, of what? Bobbers, Patriot Cat. Cool. Man, I, I need I need to. I'll be honest, guys. I don't understand um, Facebook. I, we can spend some time together, and I'll help you get to know it. I I don't, I don't know how to do Facebook. I I have an, I have I have um I have Facebook. I have an account. I just don't understand it. 
I'll help you. I spend, my wife tells me I spend way too much time on YouTube, which I do. I'm always trying to watch YouTube videos. Guys, just because I don't comment on your videos, I can almost guarantee I watch most of your, your videos. I try to. I'll help you with your Facebook because, you know. Thank you. I appreciate that. How uh, late are you staying here? So... Um, I don't want to waste too much of your time, but we're going to stay until we catch a fish. Around an hour and 30 minutes. Um, 10 minutes Mom more. says that Cookie has to be home by 11. So we'll be here until 10.15. What time is it now? Where's the time? 9.20. Oh. Around. Maybe, maybe another hour. Yeah. But I don't expect y'all guys to stick around and we're not catching anything. I've been else. in Facebook jail for a week. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Where you can't go on. Where you can't go on Facebook. Really? I think. I, I don't I, know what I that means. I thought he meant that he was trapped. He couldn't get out. Like, he means that, like... No, no, he, it means he's that... Just, like, I don't know what it means. He's addicted. He just can't get out. I, oh. I, were you banned or, like... Let's see. Help him with it. <laughs> Instagram tool. I, I believe I have an Instagram account, too. <laughs> I believe. But that, I never go on there. The Outrider, Jay. Thank you for joining in. Or if you were, if you were here for a long time, um... How's it going? Uh, thank, thank you for saying. Yeah, yeah it's it's a calm night. Look, look at the, look at the reflection. Yeah. Look, look, look at turn the monument the, reflection. Turn it on if you want. What? Turn what on? The lights. Oh, I was showing the reflection of the monument. So, anyways, those who have just joined, guys, I'll show you the rods with the high reflective tape. It has the high reflective marine tape, which is the, like kind of white, and it's got the orange. So, anyways. We were hoping to see those things bend over in action, but not very much action. I posted truth and Facebook didn't like it. Oh. <laughs> I like the truth. I don't like to... Yeah, I don't, I don't like to, to not speak the truth. Ask my wife. I'm always going to say the truth. Always. That's, that's why when my wife tells me, oh, how do I look? That's, don't ask me. That's <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather? Is the, the, the weather is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You couldn't um, get very much better. It, it, can, I could, it could not get better. I, it's a low humidity, no wind. So I'm not sure if no wind is a good thing or not, but yeah. it's gorgeous. I know tomorrow we're going to have star humidity come in. We might have showers tomorrow, but... There's like it's been gorgeous the last three days. That's all I gotta say. It's there's bad. like no wind, but the thing is, is that it's just the perfect. It's just perfect. It's, it's just you amazing. Don't need, you don't need wind at this type of temperature. <laughs> is the tape thick? Okay, guys, I would like to do a video. Oh, that's a long comment. Um, Those are some. So I, I I bought three tapes. No, four tapes. The first my first video I I I, I talked about doing doing the 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 rods with rim tape rim. The high reflected rim tape, and I did, I did, did it on my, I did do it on my Casking Catech. That that tape was very, very thick, and it had lots of memory, so it, w it wouldn't stay down until someone. I wish I could remember the name. Someone says, Elston, buy a glue that it's it cures with the the UV light, which is the black lights. And I I have flashlights that are black lights. So in other words, you hold, you put the tape down, and then you spread a little bit of glue, and then as soon as you put the black light on there, it cures instantly guys I'm talking about in two to three seconds it's done so if you put enough tape if you put enough glue on the tape to hold it down it's done deal and that's all of these rods have that the tape um, this the, the white one the white colored one that's the marine the, the, the marine um, high reflected it's got the highest reflectability I don't know what you call it how it's scaled but it's got the, the number 700 there's you can't find a tape higher uh, with the higher reflected than, than the silver color the next, the next one, which is on my casking cat. No, I'm sorry, it's some other rods. I'm on my ugly sticks. It's the lime, the lime green, which is 400 reflectability. It's, it, like I said, I don't know the name. And then the orange is 200. So it, I'll, once again, I'll show you the, the rods here. And you see that the white, the white that's that's 700, and the orange it's uh, 200. So it's a high high reflective tape. So th those who are, who are thinking about doing to their fishing rods, I, I encourage you doing it. I mean, not all the way through, at least at least the, the top end. Um, 
So you buy the tape and then get 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 the fast curing uh, glue that as soon as you hit a black light on there, it cures instantly. You need to do a video on this. Yes, I think we need to do a video. Because this is not the rim tape. You do a step out and step tutorial. Yeah, but I'm I'm terrible at trying to explain things. I, I can I'm more help of you. just like look. I can help you. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'll come downstairs. It would be nice. Get away get, yeah, get away from the Xbox. For about an hour. <laughs> Silence. Alright, what was that? This one? Uh, those are some sweet looking rods. That orange will match my black slash orange kayak reel nicely. Yes. We're going to try for some catfish and gar in Lake Conroe soon. Get them. Get them. Because <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Mars World says truth hurts sometimes. Yeah, the truth does hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Um, and the, the good thing about the orange, the orange, the lime green, and I believe it's oh, yellow. It comes, it comes in fluorescent colors, so it also works well with with my black lights. Fishing uh, box, not Xbox. Stay away from the Xbox. There you go. Stay with the Xbox. Fishing box. Are you from DC or you traveled? Um, I'm from. We live in Springfield, Virginia. Springfield, Virginia. It's only with no traffic. It's only about 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive to here. But today was there was traffic. There's always traffic. Took us about 40 minutes to get here. Get away from Fortnite. We're about 10 miles away, 10, 12 miles away from DC. Get away from Fortnite. Yeah. What else do you play? Fortnite. And what's the other one you said you play? Overwatch. Overwatch. He likes Overwatch. Anyone know what Overwatch is? But I don't. Chunky cats. Keep thank it real you. fishing. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank, thank you for joining. Or staying here with us. And if you ask, what did you miss? You haven't missed anything. <laughs> Maybe you brought us good luck. Oh, he loves it. He loves that. Overwatch. Yeah. Uh, man, it's been so old school RuneScape. Man, that's an old game. Not old, but like it's like an old game, uh -huh. but like not that old. Okay. It's like when pixels were like things. It's also, so you know back then when there was okay graphics, it wasn't like pixel quality, but it wasn't like today's quality. All right. It was like blocks, kind of. Hmm. Okay. It was, let's just say it was like in 2010 or something near that time. <laughs> Pond River Boys, thank you for joining in. Thank you so much. I didn't notice the name. Thank you. Have you ever finished Fish with Luke from Catfishing and Carp? Yes, <laughs> I have. Um, he he puts on he puts on an event twice a year. He didn't do it this year, or he missed. He did it once, but he didn't do the second one. He he does he does one he does one in the spring. He does one in the fall, but he didn't do the one in the fall because um, he just had a baby boy, and I think his wife had a hard time with uh, with the birth. I think she's. She had something going on, um, but yes, guys, I, I've been out. Oh, I, I like to tell people, if there was one person in the world that you could meet, I've met him, and that's exactly the person who I wanted to meet is Luke from Catfish and Carp, and I've been lucky enough to fish beside him twice. He's amazing. He's an amazing person. Man, he's he's awesome. Um, Jerry's Wood Shop and Outdoors. Thank you for joining in, and thank you for dropping the like. Thank you. I thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you guys. Please, please support each other. All you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. We're trying to put a show on for you guys. Yeah. We're trying to catch a fish. So it's far, just... everyone's been getting skunked mostly. Now today. I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna go and find worms and catch a yeah. perch because I'm not getting skunked. She's doing better. She's doing better now. Yes, I saw yeah. her on the video and You're she was true. she was walking. She looked Virginia much much better. Virginia saved your cool yourself, Elston. <laughs> Thanks, Virginia. <laughs> Have you fished with Flores? I have not. He's amazing. I would love to fish with Chris Flores, man. He's he's the man. Which I was, was I was again? Chris Flores, Muddy River Catfishing. He Muddy was on River. here. Yeah. Keep it real fishing. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mirror. mirror. Thank you. Someone just commented one of our videos. Thank you. <laughs> Keep it real. <laughs> What's up, Corey? What were we talking about? Oh, Chris Flores. Yeah. I was blown away when I saw Chris Flores on um, Catfish Weekly. Guys, if y'all don't know about Catfish Weekly, y'all need to to check that out. They they do a, a live 
live uh, a live show. Um, they talk about catfishing, and they always have a guest on there. And guys, believe it or not, I didn't even know that that show existed until I saw it on Catfish Conference, and they were out, you know, interviewing different people. Uh, Catfish Weekly, they they, uh, they they do giveaways every 15 minutes. Um, they're on live for about an hour, and um, if, if y'all if y'all love catfishing, please look in and, and check out Catfish Weekly. I know most of you already know about that, y'all catfishermen, but I, I did it. I just learned about them two or three months ago. They, yeah, I would like to use. I would like to fish with any other YouTuber. Yeah. Ever gone kayak fishing for catfish? I couldn't see myself fit in a kayak. I was, I was about to say. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'll flip that sucker over. <laughs> I'd have a hard time fitting in there as well. <laughs> Yaki, Yaki with Sarah. Yeah, she's amazing. She, um, check her out as well. She does a uh, same thing, a, a live show. I think it's what did they say every Sunday? At 8:30. Yeah, uh, the Wyatt, the Wyatt, the Wyatt family, Wyatt life was on there. Yacht life. What's it? Yacht life. Yacht life. I'm sorry. I get I, so many YouTubers. I forget. Get confused. I'm over three. Why not? I'm over 300. Number 300 and You wait 280. I'm right there, buddy. I'm just away. Oh, another another person y'all should check out. Yeah. Which he won't do sub for sub. I know he won't. But he's amazing. I know it's backwards. Uh, it is it here? Kayak, kayak. Catfish? Yeah, kayak catfish. He's awesome. Unlawful music. Thank you for joining in. I have a kayak that makes real easy, and my buddy's 350 and has no problems in it. it must be one of those really, really good, expensive ones. So uh, the Hobie, a Hobie. I think if I was ever to try it, I would, I would have to get a big, awesome. Yeah. Bill Flynn, thank you so much for joining. Is Patriot Tackle Top from Panfish? Yeah, Panfish is, is awesome. Kayak catfishing is, is amazing because he keeps it real. He's a lot like realistic um, fishing, um, but realistic is, of course, more towards the, fash, the, the bass fishermen. Kayak fishermen is, of course, just about catfishing. Kayak catfishing. He's, all, he's awesome. He, he'll tell you how it is. <clears throat> oh, I just have a Wilder's Ride kayak. Is that like expensive or like <laughs> how much? I don't know anything about kayaks. <laughs> Catch anything? Nothing. Nothing. Just these two faces. Just all you're Those looking rods at. Those look lit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Let me show you real quick. If you just, <laughs> I have to show it. I have. To... Ah, that's the high reflective tape on there, guys. Man, I can do that all night long. Five hundred dollars is not bad for a kayak if it does what it has to do. Is this place known for good fishing? This place, um, I, me and Cookie pull out big, big catfish. If if, if you didn't see our live stream about three weeks ago, we caught two thirty-pound catfish on our live stream. Um, my biggest catfish in the this is the tidal basin. Okay, this is man-made. Um, is 40 pounds um, right outside on the other side of the bridge is 52 pounds so there's there's big giant everything that's in here is gonna be giant uh, of course there's small ones here too there's big <sighs> there's big snake kids bass carp longnose gar that's what we get a lot of hits on longnose gar here you didn't bite on that first pole the baby one that this we have a baby where is it that little one or that one it's on the other side that. Here, here, look. That one. Right there. That one right there. No. I think. Or it might be that one right there. That one right there. Oh, it feels weird to touch it like, from the camera view. Because I know. You can't. Feel, the camera's here. So you have to go. <laughs> I know. The last time I was able to figure it out, I can't do it today. Guys, those who stick around, thank you. I appreciate it. And like I said, I don't want you to. If you have something to do Saturday night, go do it. But we're here. <laughs> you, you know how I, you were pointing your finger and then, wah, wah. Yeah. 
I'm thinking of Mason when he does. <laughs> <laughs> the other side. Your game binds on the other side. This side. Oh, the first one. So I guess that. That one. Over there, the big rod. Even the guard not biting. Like I said, every any time that we have tied this little rope. Did you take it off all the rods? The bite just goes away. Did you take it off all the no, rods? No, they're, they're all on there right now. They all have it. Take it off? No. <laughs> all right, take I it off. I, I, would, I would be happy to catch a guard tonight. Just take off one, okay? Just one. We got some ketchup. And take my bass rod with me next time to try for those snakeheads. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. I'm just getting ready to fishing at Black Hills Ray, Reagan, Na Reagan, Reagan National, I think. Wow. Park with my best friend. Awesome. Good luck. Hope I'm you catch a big one. For support, I want to see you get your PB. That would be amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the support. It just seemed like the perfect night. It just seemed like the perfect yeah. night to come out here and. Such a good weather. Sometimes the fish were so long. And skunk that a bluegill wow. would get me happy. Yes. What did you a bluegill would get us happy. <laughs> right now, a bluegill. Yes, would get us a bluegill would, would make me very happy. Yeah. Anything gets me happy. Yeah. If, if we're getting skunked, anything. <laughs> <laughs> I want to beat my PB. What's his PB? Here. <laughs> 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 that should be hard. <laughs> We're trying to beat your PB tonight. It's probably going to be his PB with the Guys, th th those who have just tuned in and don't know the story, Virginia Fisherman, um, about a month ago, uh, I drove down to where he lives about an hour drive uh, with no traffic. So I woke up really, really early, go pick him up, and then I had to drive back into D.C. So it was an hour coming back, plus another 30 minutes. So before we started fishing, I drove two and a half hours to go pick him up to come down here. And I, we tried really hard to get him on some catfish. Um, he caught he caught a 12. Um, and people say, oh, well, that's awesome. You know, 12, 12 what? 12 pounds? No, 12 inches. <laughs> it was a small catfish, man. That's he, like a foot, right? Exactly. It is a foot. It was a small one. Oh, like... oh, here we go. Come on. Gar, gar, gar. 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 Hit that rope. Hit that rope. Um, I think they just play with the rope, and they're going to break it. It's not like... No, they won't. They won't break. If, if, if just don't don't set the hook too hard. So, anyways, uh, we we fished out here. I don't know, five or six hours, and he caught he caught he caught one catfish. I was hoping to get him something big. Sorry. Was it? Did it look like a less than a pound? It looked about a pound. Mm. Look, look about a pound. Then driving all the way back. I did that. I did that for for a subscriber for Jim Fisherman. He's amazing. Please sub him. He was. It, it took me five hours just driving to get him out here to catch him. <laughs> A one pound fish but it was worth it we tried two hours to get here and then two hours yeah, two and a half two and a half coming this way and two and a half back by the time i got home was there traffic there was traffic that's yeah. even worse but i caught the express lanes oh that's good yeah yeah so you pay you pay to get an express lane five five hours of my time and about a hundred dollars in toes what <laughs> it's worth it it was worth it that was all for you virginia fisherman <laughs> yeah the toes are expensive during rush hour Towing? Toes, the toes, when you have to have oh. H the HOVs, HOV lanes. Oh, man, a $50 per time? Um, it, it just depends on traffic. Oh. The, the, the prices change. That's crazy. Yeah. The slow night fishing is better than not going out at all. Yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying it, I mean, look, look. It's beautiful, it's beautiful here. We, it looks almost like a full moon. People say full moon is great. I'm not saying it's exactly full moon, but it's up there. Look at look at look at the moon. The clouds are kind of blocking it, but it's you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reposition all the rods real quick. Okay. Keep up with. I'm laughing so hard over here right now. That's good. Guys, I'm gonna move the rods around. I need to to see what we can do here. Mm. Thanks love for fellow fishermen. We still have both our flags right here. Oh, oh my cap. My cap. Oh. Yeah, we still have both our flags here. Right here. Oh. There we go. Hey, 
I'm starting to get a bit tired. I still have fun though. That's good. <laughs> Man, it's only been 20 minutes. Time usually passes like so quick. It usually passes in every second is like three. <laughs> Thanks, Patriot. What time is it there? It is 9.40 p.m. I'm starting to get a yawn. Whew. So you're three hours ahead. Three hours ahead? Really? Man, we are super far ahead then. I didn't expect it to be uh, that far ahead. <sighs> Daddy, huh? who's the show that does uh, twerking Thursdays? Huh? What's the show that, um, what's the YouTube that does twerking Thursdays again? Twerking, twerking Thursdays. Remember? Do you guys remember, do you guys know the show? I forgot the YouTube, it does like, Twerking Thursdays, episode like eight. It's like, I can't remember the name again. It's hard to remember. Can be, can be anglers or just can be. Can be catfishing, can be anglers, I don't remember. Yeah, it's can be either. Cause you would be so jacked up from that Mountain Dew. I can't even like, Honestly, I can't even like stay awake with this Mountain Dew. <sighs> That's the sad part. It didn't even keep me awake. <sighs> anglers can be anglers. Zero ninety ninety nine five X glasses for. Uh, I can't remember my Spanish. No. How do you say thank you for joining in in Spanish? Gracias. Gracias. I it's like gracias por the, and I can't remember how to say joining in. <laughs> Buenas noches. Gracias. <laughs> huh? Zero ninety nine five X. He's awesome. Yeah. He's a gamer. Yeah, I know. What's up, Chunky Catfish? This is Nasty Rod Catfishing. Nasty Rod Catfishing. Thank you for joining in, Nasty Rod. Is that his name? Huh? Is that his name? What? Nasty Rod? Yeah. Huh. What? Catching. <laughs> Nasty Rock or Rod? Catfishing. Catch that big one. Yeah, we're trying to catch something big, but it's all just. There's nothing. There's nothing to bite. Gar have gone away as well, but we still got like. We still are getting a bite every like 30 minutes or something. It's really slow out here right now. I can read Spanish, I just can't like. Speak it, that's the sad part. <laughs> Go shallow. It it's rod. It's nasty rod catfishing because everything about catfishing is nasty. Well, yeah, yeah. except catching the fish. That that is that is that's a good feeling. He's saying it's uh, what is it? Nasty rod catfishing because um, everything in catfishing is nasty. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like about catfishing. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Nasty Rod. Yep, Nasty Rod. Yep. That's a good name. <sighs> I'm 
thing about that being a brand on the market and just you see nasty rod or smelly rod and it's just I don't know how would that feel <laughs> man thank you forever stick on the stream and leave the like thank you so much for staying on the stream and leaving a like sorry since we haven't caught anything but thank you for ever stay on the stream so far <laughs> all right <sighs> My, the, the little zepco i think it broke what the, the push button zip go. Oh. It, it 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 doesn't it, it doesn't have a uh, lock. It doesn't lock going reverse. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired because man. Stop yawning. You're making people yawn. Stop. <laughs> and now we're gonna stop. Hey. Cookie, my grandson wants to know what's the biggest catfish you've caught. Thirty-two pounds. Yep. Thirty-two pounds. Yep. Thirty-two pounds. My PB is thirty-two pounds. He has a. We have a video on it. It's a little long, but. Check it out. <laughs> no worries, just we see. We support, support you, Cookie. Thank you. <laughs> and if I'm yawning, I'm gonna close my mouth so it yeah. doesn't look like I'm yawning. Guys, another 30 minutes at, at maximum, and that, that's it. <laughs> because my since like I drink so much Mountain Dew, it's just like I just can't drink anymore. Okay. <laughs> My PB was too bad. <laughs> you, you beat Virginia's PB though. <laughs> <laughs> You're beating Virginia? <laughs> well, here, here in these waters. <laughs> here in these. <laughs> what, what's Virginia's biggest fish? I don't know, but. Hmm. Tommy the Grosso, thank you. Thank you and good night, I guess. Buenas noches. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Quick stop. Virginia's been hanging around with us exactly. the whole the whole night. <laughs> the whole night. He's amazing. Thank you. So I just put the casking cat tech out. It's out. That one doesn't have the rope on there. Doesn't. No. Ten Scott pound Scott. channel cat. Ooh, Ooh. That's nice. Channel cats fight fight nice. I've never caught a channel cat. No? I don't think so, no. They fight strong. Most most of them fight so, strong. So at least you you've caught a channel cat. I don't know if I've caught a channel cat or not. <laughs> Halo in the house. Halo, Halo. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> we haven't caught anything, so yeah. Halo, Halo. Cute. That's I like that name. It's catchy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Catchy name. Thank you. What up? <laughs> <laughs> what up? Lives build watch time up bigly. Yeah, we know. The what? Live. Lives. Live yes. stream build up watch time. Huge. It, it does. It does build up a lot of. But we want to do a show. We want yeah. to catch it for you. We just don't want you looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> Catching any? Nothing. So you haven't missed anything. You haven't anything. missed anything. <laughs> You just saved yourself 99 minutes of your, of your life. <laughs> you'll never those, get those, those back. Those other people that have been here for around 100 minutes, you'll never get those back. No, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My PB is 15 pounds. We are new to YouTube, so is that where you're fishing? Is it a is it at River Lake? Okay, so. But move your head there. Wait. Okay, so. This is the Potomac River. If you if you look up the Potomac there. River, this section is man-made. So right here, out that somewhere over there during the daytime, they rent the paddle boats. So this part it's between uh, six to ten feet deep, approximately, depending on the tide. Because the tide does affect here. There's a, a three about a three foot fluctuation depending on the, the moon phase, but three feet. So low tide it drops three feet, and when it's high tide it goes up. Um, we, there's some gates here. We're about less than 100 yards away. The river's right on the other side of this bridge, the, the Potomac River. Um, so you, you have the river, then you have the basin. On the other side of the gates, you have the channel. The channel, that's where all the yachts and boats and the restaurants, that's where a lot goes the on over there. channel cats go through there? It's called the channel, so <laughs> there's everything there. And this river has 
big, big fish, big, um, big catfish. Less Every, everything here that's big, because most people do catch and release here, because it's CPR. not it's yeah CPR catch food and release. It's not recommended to eat very much fish from here. Um, they, I think it's down to one portion a month, one eight ounce portion. If you if you do catch and you want to take it home and cook it, it's it's just it's really not recommended. On the last time you have people. Two thank 30. you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Someone said yes. My PB is fifteen pounds on a dead bluegill. Fifteen pounds is a lot of people don't understand. Those of you who who watch us and or watch YouTube and you see people pulling these these 10, 15, 20 pound catfish, 30 pound flatheads or whatever, the average person might not ever see a fish bigger than 10 pounds. I'm talking about people who go to like a regular lake or a regular river. Bark Lake. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard, it's hard. Um, the DC waters, we just, we've been very lucky, very blessed that we've caught yeah. very big fish in the past. Good night, Patriot. Yeah, you don't want to hear me talk anymore. Good night, see you later, thanks again. Mm -hmm. And once again, please check out Patriot. Check out his video on, on his American flag, uh, supporting our veterans. Please, please do that. Um, the, the, the fish in the Potomac River are very, very big. I don't know if they're as big as the James River, but we, on our, like someone said, on our, our last live stream about three weeks ago, Cookie caught two 30 pound, two 30 pound catfish. That's, that's amazing to catch two 30 pounds, especially on a live stream on the same night. Like I said, most people About don't ever channel, catch. So when you are going to make a fishing rod? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people have been asking this question. The fishing rod, like guys, it. those are the, the closest guy I'm gonna do is just customize rods. That's what I do. I put high vis, high reflective tape. We fish with black lights. Those are the black lights down there. And today I don't have my um, my fluorescent painted rods. I sometimes bring a rod to catch pan panfish for bait while waiting for a fish to bite my catfish bait. Nah, that sounds like work. <laughs> 50 pounds of... <laughs> I'm just messing with <laughs> 50 pounds small for St. T. City. For small? So, for, wait, say that again. 50 pounds small for St. T. I think South Carolina? Uh, yes. Yeah. 70s, 80s, 90s, I like big girls. Ooh. All right. He's saying it's small for 50 pounds in South Carolina. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I came from Texas, guys. I did a lot, of, like I said. Mm -hmm. I started the, I started the, this talking about this. I, I grew up, I was born and raised in San Antonio, Texas. I used to fish two lakes, Calaveras and Brunick Lake. And I would go out there lots and lots and lots of times. And I don't think I ever caught anything bigger than five or six pounds and I was okay with that so I came out here and I learned about these waters about two years ago to me a, a 30 a 40 a 50 pound catfish that's huge it's very very big um, is there bigger absolutely there there's much much bigger so, so how would I waters. get a hold of you so I can buy a nice rod <laughs> <laughs> they're not out yet <laughs> that's later yeah, just have a, yeah it's right now we're just these are whisker seeker guys this mm -hmm. one the one that one and that other one is Whisker Seekers. South Carolina, yep. This one is my favorite rod right now so far. That's the Casking Cat Tech. It's a seven foot, one piece, medium action. Um, I, I already talked about it. Uh, Cookie caught a 30 pound catfish and it handled, it, it barely handled the fish. And that's what I expected it to do. I don't like, I don't like a big, big rod that just kind of hoises it in. Where you, 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 I don't like a rod that just, the rod tip doesn't bend very much. It's like stiff. I don't, I don't believe in just these real thick, heavy-duty shark rods. What's the biggest carp I've ever caught? 20 pounds? 22 pounds. 22. Same same body of water, but on the other side of the basin, way somewhere over there. 22 pounds. Um, yeah. Carp, carp are awesome. Maybe we should have fished for carp. People don't really like carp for some reason. Mm, yeah, but I think carp will do well doing for carp. Yeah, they, they're more fun. They're a little bit more fun. Oh, they fight. They yeah, fight. They're fun. I know catfishermen don't want to hear this. They fight five times, ten times stronger than a catfish. If you compare a channel to a carp, I, we don't know because, like, we never caught a channel. Ca carp, carp, or they're strong. They are very, very strong. They'll, they'll, they'll wrap, they'll wrap these, these lines. They'll wrap. If we catch one 20-pound carp, it will wrap all lines up. 
it's part sometimes mess up a lot of stuff. Absolutely. They mess up a lot, but like there is such a good fight. They'll bring you from like over like all the way from like over there. Oh yeah, and they'll they'll to take the drive. Bridge. They'll bring you if you're not like careful of them and you're just letting them loose, they'll oh. bring you all the way to the other side here. Exactly. No, <laughs> you, you you have to you gotta be ready for them. <laughs> Yeah, because catfish has just been very, very slow. Maybe our luck is right now. Yeah. Hmm. All this time we've been getting lucky. No, it's not because of the fish inside the basin. It's because we got lucky. <laughs> I don't know. Andrew Hill, saw you earlier. Thanks for showing me your setup. Oh, were you the person that was over here? Yeah, right here. No, the yeah, gentleman right that was speaking, I think yeah. he had his family here. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Yeah, so if you're joining us, it's a slow night. We haven't yeah. caught anything. Mm. But thank you for, for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, check out some of the other videos. Some of the other videos have... Fish and <laughs> Yeah, them. they have fish. <laughs> we do catch fish. <laughs> Just not tonight. Yeah. Just not tonight. Sadly, not tonight. Exactly. That's 22 what... thumbs up. 22 thumbs up and our, our our audience is just dwelling away and away. They're falling asleep. They're probably just like, oh, Barry. Question. Question. What do you think about our YouTube channel, Messy Rod Catfishing, the name we selected? Good luck tonight. Thank you, Andrew. Wait, wait, wait. Are they, are they going to change the rod? Are, are you going to... Are they going to change? Are you going to change... Did you guys miss up... Like, you guys put messy. Are you guys saying nasty or messy? Wait. Nasty. I'm not falling asleep. Thank you, Virginia. I know you're not. Do you mean messy or nasty? Nasty. Nasty. Nasty rod. Nasty. Um... <laughs> To me, nasty rod, it, it catches my attention. Yeah, it's nasty rod catfishing. So I guess nasty. I yeah, guess nasty. it's a miss. It's, um, miss it's catchy. Yeah, it's catchy. I, I, I like it. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. I like different. I'm different. Yeah. I, I, my channel is to be different. Yeah. Okay? We, 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 uh, we fish with the bait that most people don't use. It's, it's eel, cut eel, and we normally do really, really good. Uh, you can see the rods. Today I don't have my fluorescent painted rods, but I mean, don't you see how special we are? <laughs> we have we have the high vis tape on them. So different is good. Yeah, mostly. I good. was mm -hmm. I was born that way. <laughs> I was born different. <laughs> well, look, we'll to fish with you sometime, guys. When are you planning on doing this again? Oh, we try to come Great once grand, a week, but whatever my wife lets me, that's just <laughs> ask her. <laughs> Do you think you will work out here in Dallas, Texas for bait? Wait, say that again? You will work. I'm not sure what the question is. I don't know either. So is that where he's from, Dallas, Texas? What are you, what are you PB catfish? Um... Uh, my, my PB is, is 52 pounds and I have a really good video. I consider it to be a really good video because it got really good footage. Um, cookies is, is 32 and that's also on video too. He got his 40 I think pounds. it's uh, I think it's titled nine year old boy catches trophy catfish. You were nine years old at the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's two years ago, man. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that I look back I'm, at it, it's really old. I'm very happy with my PB. I know, I know they're I know most of y'all cat fishermen. I got, got, got something way, way bigger. Congratulations! But I'm, I'm very happy with my 52 pound because it's, it's a big, beautiful catfish. It was just, it was heavy, it was stocky. Check out the video. If you haven't seen the video, I have, I have, I have a pretty good video if, on if it. If I don't catch a bigger fish than 30 pounds, I'm okay with that because well, most people, won't catch the average, pounds. the average fisherman won't ever catch a fish mm -hmm. that big. It's, it's hard. It's hard. We're just like I said. We're blessed. We 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 live near the Potomac River and we catch them. Yeah, use it. Yeah. Cut eel. Cut eel. I I think the I think the world of cut eel. That's that's my best bait in the world. Eel. 
We should do a video and walk into the store and buying the eel. Yeah. I sh I'll, t I'll title it, Where Do I Get My Bait? <laughs> Where Do I Get My Bait? And I'll pretend to get grab a cast net. And I'm like, oh, let's go get my bait. <laughs> and they walk into a store. We back. Sorry back. about that. Sorry, Bye. sorry, sorry. Yay. Man, these rods haven't moved. They haven't tapped. It's bad, bad night. Should the cut eel be fresh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've I've tried I tried frozen eel. Like in other words, what I have left over, I'll take it and, and freeze it. Um it's it's different results. I mean, right now it's fresh and we're not having any results, so but normally when the fish are biting and we use frozen, it's not as good. Fresh is always better. My P B is a sixty eight flathead and I have not beat it in twenty years. 68 flat. That, that, is, that is a monster. And oh, 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 here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Get ready. Guys, like I said, like I said, this is the only rod. I just, I just put this out there with fresh bait. This is the only one that doesn't have that rope on there. And that's the one that's getting hit. Anytime I add, I add the rope to it, they don't hit. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Doing good. Tighten up just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Right? Stop, 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 stop. I see that you're mentoring somebody. We're live on YouTube. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. It's been a slow night. <laughs> not much going on. We normally catch big fish, but not tonight. Uh, you never know when they come, huh? Yeah. Oh, you were here the last time. Yeah. How you doing? Go, go put it back on. Oh! I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, we both. Oh no. There we go. I think that's all right for right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was just the guard sadly. Action, but no action. Yeah, for I always use, I normally have my rods painted for the paint. I'm surprised there's no rats jumping out, no raccoons, no bats. It's just a calm night. Nothing really happening. Thank you for ever stuck with us. Thank you. They're so happy to see action. There's no action. <laughs> yeah, I was happy to see a little action. 113 minutes and you finally get a little bit of action. <laughs> Did someone say that? <laughs> no, us. You said that. Yeah. Here. You can plug it in if you need to. No, not yet. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, guys, like I said, that that's what I was talking about. Fish are teasing you. They are. So, like I said, guys, I have this this little nylon rope tied to the hook beside the bait. All three of these, one, two, and three, have it. And as soon as we add this, they stop biting. The one that hit, it only has the eel. It doesn't have this rope, and that's the reason, in my opinion, it hit because it doesn't have this. So the reason I add this, I was hoping the gar would chop down on this here. Do you have any t-shirts or has chunky catfish so we can purchase? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, no merch. <laughs> no merch. I need a designer to do something nice. I mean, like our logo is nice, but I, I don't exactly like want our direct faces and just have a big like fish yeah. in front of our heads. And just <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come with something. Yeah. We'll find someone that can do something nice yeah. for us. Because if we decide uh, someone, to, someone's got to go, what did they say here? Mari's World, thank you for joining in and goodbye. Hope you have a good night and bye. Bye, Castillos. Oh, Castillos. Cast Castillos, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy dinner. Have an awesome yeah. dinner. Hope it's tasty. What do we have for dinner today? 
Kung Fu Panda? What is it? Panda Express? <laughs> Call it Kung Fu Panda. Panda Express. I accidentally said that Mercy's leaving. I didn't notice. Oh, like, that's alright. Oh. Ah. No, uh, Maria's word's not leaving. Yeah. Guys, please support each other, please. Please uh, support uh, Maria's world. Go way back in there. Get really close to the bush. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining. Thank you. We're hoping to show you a fish, catch a fish, but it's just not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen tonight. Kung Fu Panda. I always call it Kung Fu Panda. It's Panda Express. My wife, my wife likes Panda, uh, Panda Express. It was good today. You can hear the crickets. Yeah. Um, before the sun, sun sunset, you just hear uh, the, the, the locusts. I call them chicharras. There's lots and lots of chicharras out here. But the chicharras mm -hmm. went away and now it's, it's the crickets. They can hear the crickets. Yeah. Crickets, lots and lots crickets, of crickets, crickets. sorry. So. <laughs> chicharras. <laughs> I heard a barge bite, but that was a plane bite. <laughs> We're trying, man. I don't know if we'll ever have another live stream like when you caught those two 30 pound catfish. That was amazing. That was really And you had other ones too, right? We had a, a gar. A gar. Was it us that caught the gar or was it? An... Riding no, gravity. We... No. No, we caught a gar too. Ever had Pietro soup? No, I have not. Have we? Isn't it a restaurant? Didn't we go try it once? Near Safeway or something? I don't know. I, I think we have. Maybe. And, and if we did, we didn't know how to order it, to be honest. Does your wife fish with you? She, uh, she was out here. We were together as a family last Monday. Last Monday. Monday. So check out the video. Check out the video. My last video I posted. Outdoors Addiction. We were, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we were all together as a family. We had my uh, cookie was here, my wife, Mason, my two-year-old son, and my daughter, Bella. And... Uh, Check out the video. My wife reeled in one of the gars, long nose gar, and uh, who else? Then you, you also reeled one in too. I think so. I'll it was, it was. Music. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank who, who, who Joshua is? Von Wick. Unlawful. Yeah. Stay as long as I could. Hope you'll catch some good to be catch. Thank, thank you so much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you for support. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. And um, outdoors addiction. Thank you for joining in. He's also here. Outdoors fishing. Absolutely. In the dark. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, glad I caught the live stream. Any luck? Uh, no, nothing. no, you didn't miss anything. Like I said, you you saved yourself um, 118, 118 minutes of your <laughs> of your life of your of your, your that your most people won't get back. <laughs> Everyone won't bring you back. They're like, man, I can't believe I spent two hours just watching <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like I said, we are new to YouTube. How do we or what do we use for camera? What are you using? Um, when when you, when you do live stream, you pretty much everyone who does a live stream on YouTube has to use their phone um, and you, we, we're using our front front front, front facing. facing camera so of course I, I don't know if you want to see us or not but I know when I see someone I want to kind of see them and see the tips I think it's really important so we're just using an uh, it's an iPhone um, what is this a, a six seven seven plus so just a phone but I also have a GoPro uh, it's the hero five not the six it's not the latest one I think it's the five um, and that's what I was using to record when my, my family was out here. Um, it's, it's the GoPro. I'm pretty sure you have, where is there's it? like special monitors or something this for one. like really high quality or something. It's the GoPro. I'm having a problem with, with the GoPro here because um, I think I have a cheap disc. And sometimes I'll start recording and it won't, it won't save it. So it just gets me pretty, pretty upset. I have the iPhone X. It has some awesome vid quality. Absolutely. I mean, the... More advanced phones are even better. And if I was to put my other camera, which is the, the regular size camera, let me see. Well, 
it would it would have better quality too. Hold on, let's do this. So that's 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 the regular back size camera. Oh yeah, it's better, but we're on the other side and they can't see us. So the the front facing camera is never going to be as good as the back. Sadly. Sadly, yeah. See how it just it, I guess it's different. I don't know if it is or not. Well, I can check. That's all right. <laughs> Let's and it also, when when you use your front facing camera, everything that 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 you're seeing, everything is in reverse. So this kayak catfishing, it's backwards. When you use your backside, your regular camera, you see it in you know the way it's supposed to be seen. The backside always has way better quality than the front. Absolutely, yes. But it would be impossible for us to read the comments, and I don't know if you want to see us or not, but. Is it mirrored? Yeah, it's mirrored. Yeah, if you point this way... It's mirrored, it right. Points. So when I'm throwing my rod, it looks like I'm left-handed. Yeah. When I'm really not. I think. And it wasn't like that before. I don't know if it's YouTube or it's the phones that do that. And I wish there was a setting that you could flip that back around. It'd be nice. Yeah, and, I, and I've done a lot of investigating on YouTube, uh, watching videos, and no one, I've never seen it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I know when I see someone else do a live stream, I think it's good to to see at least the rods and see Cookie. Hmm. Cookie's the famous one. Yeah, I'm here. Hmm. I saw you. Your garbage, and it was awesome to see those dinosaurs. <laughs> That's Cookie saying, dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> I'm going out next weekend to the basin. I'm hoping for Gar. Like when I drive. It looks so like so a let me let me tell right if, 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 I don't know if you heard it or not, but we've caught a total of five gar. Let's say in about six months or a year's time, um, three of the gars that we have we have caught. What they do is they'll 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 bite down on the leader line. So in other words, they'll bite down near the hook, and they they, they just stay shut. So as we reel them in. You can't find them as a catfish. You can't set the hook. You just, you just jet, you know, nice and easy. Bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. And when he sees the net, he's gonna fight. And we're, we, we've been able to land three gar by, by them just biting down on the line. It goes across their mouth. So when I pick them up here, all I do is open their mouth, open their mouth, and the line just comes right out. Monday, the last video, I don't know how we did it, but we actually hooked, we hooked the gar inside their mouth. I hooked the gar too, right? Both of them were hooked. We caught two Saturday, um, mon Monday night. And we're using big hooks. I think they're uh, six odd, six or seven odd. And that's nearly impossible to actually hook a long nose gar. Now you can hook different types of gar, but the long nose gar has a very strong bony mouth. Um, so that's why we're trying the, this rope. We tie this, we just tie this to the hook and we hope that their teeth get caught up in this rope. But like I said, they're too smart. They, they just stop biting. Regina's mom said hi. Hello. Hello. She's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I got to meet her when I took uh, Virginia home. Thank really? you so much. Yeah, she was awesome. She's amazing. Like when I drive, it looks like I'm driving on my right side. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I've seen her videos and it looks like she's in Europe. What? She's in Europe and she doesn't even know it. <laughs> what? Yeah, because she does live stream. Oh. Maria, Maria's World, she does live stream. Yeah. And when she's live streaming, it looks like she's driving on the on the on the other right side. side. Yes. Because like you're like it's showing you over there. Yeah. But really, I'm like here where it's facing. Yes. It's just weird. It's just weird. You won't believe, Allison. That was exactly what I was gonna do. I brought time and I was gonna tie eel with it. <laughs> you you you're, you're talking about tying this to it. I forget who did the video. He did an amazing video. Like Mike Chavez has a different, he actually uses jig heads and he uses the whole rope. I just use a, a very, I just pull one strand out of the rope and I'll just tie, I'll tie it right in the middle, right behind the eel. But like I said, one, two, three, the, those three have this piece of rope and the, the, the guard stops biting. The one I just did a little while ago doesn't have this on there right now. That's, that's the one that, well, plus it's got fresh bait on there too, so. It's 10. I know. 15. I know. And... Like wrapping the eel with it and hooking it for the catfish. Yeah. 
usually when the catfish are biting, they go nuts with the eel. Man, they'll slam that rod and it just stays down, 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 down. That's when I automatically know it's a catfish. When it does this little bouncy, bouncy, bounce stuff, that's either the longnose gar hitting it, or it, it could also be another eel hitting it too. There's lots of eel in here too. Of a woman's clothes to catch smaller gar. Well, that doesn't work for the alligator gar we catch. That's. I like that idea. You know what he's talking about? Yeah. He's talking about. Well, I don't know. I guess you wouldn't know that. Women's pantyhoses. Oh. You know when mommy has put those really thin pantyhoses? Yeah. You put the eel in there and you, you put the hook through there. So, in other words, he'll bite down. And his teeth gets caught up in the pantyhoses. That's that's a really good idea. Good night, guys. I enjoyed the stream. Jimmy Dick, Jimmy Dixon, thank you for joining in and goodbye. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. To replicate the outdoor at the outdoor J. Yeah, guys. It, anyone who just joined really quickly, I know you're leaving or coming in. Let me just show you once again the rods with the high reflective tape. Anyone who wants to see it. All right. Um, yes, it works smaller with mouth bar. Just in turn, so it's easier to take them up. Good night, uh, Jim Dixon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to be wrapping up here in... Now. <laughs> in about five minutes. <laughs> Mom says you have to be home by 11 o'clock, so we don't want to get her upset. She said I have to be home by 11. We need to be home by 11. <laughs> <laughs> Those rods look like Thank Christmas you. trees. Yeah, yep. that, I, I was that's what Cookie said. That they look like Christmas lights. That's what Cookie just said. Just like if you put the light on. That's it, got it that's got the high reflected um, tape. Seven hundred. Yeah, I, I forget how they they Measured. scale. They measure the light. the reflection, and the silver white one that you saw it's got the seven hundred. So it's got the highest reflectability, and then the orange is like a two hundred. My other rods um, have the lime green, which is a four hundred. So anyone who wants to see it one more time, I'll just show it to you. Yeah, I was hoping to have that rod bend over and cookie fighting a fish and be able to show it that way, but it didn't happen tonight. Yeah. You guys have better luck fishing during the day or at the night? We, we used to have better luck fishing at the day. It's been tough the last two or three weeks. Ever since that cookie caught those two trophy catfish, it's been tough. <clears throat> the following week, I think it was, that's when Virginia came out or was it before? I forget what it is, but it's been tough. It's been slow. <clears throat> Sean, Sean in photography, he's been out fishing several times. He hasn't caught much. Before that, he was catching like 40 pounds. He, he caught several 40 pounds and 148. He, but. It, it just shut down. It, it's it's kind of weird how right immediately after the spawn was over, the catfish went nuts for about a week, two weeks, and after that, it's done. Either they went to the deep, they're out of they're out of the basin. I don't know what happened, but it's 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 just it just shut down. could be really good yeah <clears throat> because remember in um fall or october i think yes in october <clears throat> in, the daytime, in the fall we used to go if you if that that's when that we were starting to do youtube yeah it was nuts we were fishing where are we at way over there if you, those of you who want to see some videos of us of us catching fish in the daytime uh 20 30 pound catfish it is nuts in october here i mean the fish are on have you thought of posting an update a few hours before you start streaming? I think it would help bring in viewers because then we know then we know when you're streaming and we don't miss the stream. I've thought of it and thank you for letting me know. I think we should do that. A, a video or like Yeah, just like hey guys, um just letting you know we're gonna be live tonight around eight o'clock or seven o'clock. Uh, yeah, thank you. When's the last time you have been on a boat catfishing? <clears throat> Ooh, well, long, long time. 
That's not cat fishing. <laughs> That's lavender fishing. <laughs> uh, love. Four or five years ago, I have a I have a boat. I have a, a Grizzly Tracker 1648. 16 feet by four feet across. And it hasn't touched water in a long time. It's got a brand new 9.9 .9 outboard motor. Did you just put it in? Well, brand new when it has less than probably five hours on it. No, it's not been put in. It's not brand new, but it's, 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 it's not used. Yeah, it's not used. We need to take it out. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just, it's hard work when it's not hard work, it's a small boat, but just backing it up and then unloading it and loading it back up. It's nice for a And I don't know, it, it should be that difficult. Now I have a new truck that it's got that like self where you just control it with a, like a little thing back and forth. The Ford F-150 has got like a backup trailer assist. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you don't even touch the steering wheel. You're touching something like a little lever down here. I think yeah, I hate missing the streams. You didn't miss much tonight, so. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's it. It's eight twenty, ten twenty. Maybe. All right, so let me start loading up, and you want to hang I around just, here? Yeah, just read the comments. All right, all this. All right, guys, I'm gonna start loading up. Well, bring the sunny day home. <sighs> it's the end of the stream. Before going live, you can go into more options and click on schedule for later. Yep. It's just that I haven't thought about doing it because he always says, nah, let's just wait for the stream. And then there's always like only one, like it's awkward at the very beginning when there's only zero people and it's like for a little while. It's really awkward just having nobody or just sitting there smiling at the camera. It's really weird. I know the feeling. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for whoever stayed with the stream. And thank you for liking the video. And thank you. I was the first one on here tonight. I think so. I'm trying to... <laughs> Thanks for the reminder to put on... Um, a sky drill for later. Thank you. I who I think I think Virginia was. Yeah, Virginia, you were. <laughs> Never stop fishing, little man. Thanks. Virginia just like he taps on that stream as soon as it comes up on his notifications. Just just presses it like <laughs> he joins the stream so quickly. Always. Always joins the stream. face so they couldn't see the lawn so huh? I hit my face so they couldn't see me yawn so I guess that counts as no yawning <sighs> good stuff guys drive safe going home thank you no Corey tonight we got skunked what, skunked? Yeah, that's a bad word. Really? I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just. Can't always catch them all, all the time. be awesome to see you on your boat catfishing do we even have a, a a cat do we have a catfish video out there on a boat um we do not no we do not so, mm. so i guess we need to post one of those yeah <laughs> 30 pound catfish versus 
Ninja Turtle Rod. Who who would win? <laughs> Who's your catman? Thank you for joining in. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. That's true. Oh! Hear that? What? All right. Oh. <laughs> Go check it. No, no, over here, over here. No, no over here. And it's slack line, just tighten it slowly. I think you have one on there. This one? Yeah. Just drill it in, drill it in. I need to take up the bell. Don't hit it. Okay, it's a guard, you can't hit the guard. Is you on there? I don't know. Feels weird. Breathe it nice and easy, nice and slow. It looks like something's on there, right? Keep going. Nothing. It tore our beta part though. Alright. Something tore our beta part. Okay. It felt like something was on there. <laughs> Hold on. Leave it there. Yeah. So, the eight people who are still watching, if anyone who wants to see what we're doing, of course, we got the hook, we have the piece of eel, and we have the rope tied in the back here. And we were hoping the guard would get caught up here, but. Didn't work. All right. There we go. Is that good? No. Nope. I think that's okay. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Hold this. Hold this. It would have been a great way to end something. It would have been awesome. <laughs> I guess the rope doesn't exactly. It feels like the guard wants to be rolled in when there's nothing on. I guess. I, I, guess it's, I think they, they know the ropes are on. Yeah. Better check with Google to see how long it will take to get home by 11 p.m. <laughs> what time is it? It's 11.28. Where? Right now. No. I mean 10.28. Okay. Thank you whoever's stuck with the stream and is watching us pack up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm telling them thank you for whoever's watching us pack up. <laughs> they will make it. Yeah, maybe barely in time, but maybe. Mm -hmm. Guys, had a great time as always. Have a good night and a good night. <laughs> Have a good night, drive safe. Good night, everyone. Good night, Marcy World. Thank you for joining in and have buenos noches, I guess. I believe that there's a 60 pound plus catfish and then. I believe that there is a 60 pound catfish and then. <laughs> and then what?
Wouldn't it be awesome if that line just went You just heard that awesome bell sound and then we caught a huge catfish. Where are you fishing at? Huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, isn't there a link in the, this, like, not in this description? Oh, we forgot to put the description! Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, in the title of the video, um, it should say a landmark right there. It says, like, the George Mason Memorial, I think. It's, like, right across the street from right here. Terry Waddle, have y'all catch, catch anything yet? Um, no, nothing. We have not caught anything in this around two hour stream. Nothing. We've been skunked. There has been nothing here. Nothing. Not even gar. I mean, we've gotten a bit of bites, like six, seven bites, but no, no catches. Thank you for whoever stayed with us for packing up and thanks for whoever dropped a like. Ugh. Man, that was just pretty boring. Y'all fishing for flatheads? No, we're just fishing for a basic catfish right now. I want, if we, we're trying to catch a gar as well. Blues, yeah, we're trying to catch blues. And we're trying to catch a gar if we can as well. We caught nothing, nothing here. They know if the rope's on or not. Yeah, thanks Virginia. Long nose guard. Oh, it's been such a calm night. There's been nothing. Be blessed and good night. Thank you, Nasty Rock Catfishing. And good night, Nasty. Thanks for joining in to the stream. What would you do when you hit 10,000 subs? Huh? What would you do when you hit 10,000 subs? Huge giveaway. Huge giveaway. And a get together? Get together anytime. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's the one that's, he's the one that knows what to do. Huge giveaway, I guess then. What would the giveaway be? A fishing rod, an awesome fishing rod. Mm. Two fishing rods. And a five. I already, I already gave away one of these whisker seekers. Didn't you? One time, didn't you give away like five hundred plus dollars? No, 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 no. Uh, it was a prize packet worth more than one hundred fifty dollars. One hundred fifty dollars. Uh, more than one hundred. It was. Yeah. Would you do a five hundred dollar giveaway? <sighs> if you hit ten thousand subs? No. <laughs> Guys, I have given away one of these rods here. I gave away, let me see, a whisker seeker. This rod's valued about over $90 plus shipping is like $15. It's whisker seeker. I gave away this, this uh, reel is a bait runner. So it's got the double drag system. It's got the one in the back. Of course, in the front, I gave away a net, a landing mat, carp gear, catfish gear, hooks. Um, it was an awesome giveaway. What was that? What was the Can the giveaway be some home cooking? <laughs> Just got in from fish for bass, <coughs> for bass nailed a bass, a nine pound bass top water bait. <laughs> I, w I would love to do another giveaway. Maybe we should do one at 2,000 subscribers, but yeah. I don't know what, what catfish rod to give away. I'm not sure if y'all would want a, a whisker seeker or, or a, a casking cat tech. Or would you want a customized chunky cat rod? Oh yeah, you would let me know if you want all these yeah. high reflected. Yeah. So these, these are the tapes that I added. Here, here, here. Not this, this is part of the rod here, these two here. So let's, oh, it's gonna blind you. I don't wanna blind you. So I did it just for looks guys, just to have fun. I even did it down here on, on the handle here, here, here. All for show. All to put a show on. So y'all need to let me know. Soon we'll be giving something away. I don't know what's gonna be. A rod, a reel. Yeah. And these are our custom chunky yeah, this cat is, rod. Yeah, this, this is the custom, yeah. customized, mm -hmm. customized chunky cat.
Yeah, the new. <laughs> a custom Chunky Cat's fishing rod. Pretty much, that's pretty much what they are. You dropped something. You dropped a, um, a latex on me. Huh? You dropped this. <laughs> Whatever it is. I don't oh, think I need, need that. I need that. Oh, okay, good. That's part of the... Oh, I see. Did you catch anything since I left? Nope, you have missed nothing. We got a bite, but that was all. We got a small takedown. Yeah, small takedown, but that's all. Nothing very exciting. Nothing worth sticking around. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I think Virginia, Virginia was the first one on and stayed here the whole time. Man. Yeah, he stayed here for he's like a, he stayed here for like 143 minutes. Man, he won't ever get those bikes back. <laughs> a ride and reel setup. I use a Garcia GK60 on a Silver Cat Magnum. I don't know what that setup means, but I I feel like that's gonna a good setup, I guess. I don't know. Check, check out check out these glow sticks. What? These are the glow sticks that we had on since Monday, mm -hmm. and they're still going. Hold them. I mean, they're not going strong, but they're still going. They're still going. These are the ones, uh, Maria's World. She won. She won a set of these. Wait, they haven't been cracked all the way. They have been cracked. They're they're they claim to be a one-time use, guys. These things last 24 hours with no problems. So this has been what four days, five days already. And they're still shining. Not bright, but still working. Still, they're shining. Here, hold this. It's something, I mean. Not bad. I'm trying to crack them a little bit more just to make sure they that their full potential. <laughs> there we go. Yep, these are the lights. Let's see if we can focus a bit. It's a nice little thing. The fact that it's still going on from Monday to today, that's awesome. Well, I thank you for having clean video, no cursing and swearing. We appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, there is no real point in like cursing or something like that. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what the little things on the glow stick for? These things? Uh, these? The little um, branches right here, these things right here. I'm pretty sure, Daddy, what are these for? Yeah. What? These, these little things on the glow sticks. <clears throat> That's what the... The hold the rod? Yeah, it goes on the rod. This part, you clip one side on each side of the rod and it stays in there. You can open it a little. No, no, yeah, yeah. It, today, <laughs> today we mainly used um, whisker sticks, just to support, you know, whisker sticks, but Whisker Sticks has three components. You have the light, you have the battery, and you have the strap. Which, I mean, it's the brightest light. If you want the brightest LED light, go with Whisker Sticks. These are 25 cents. These were on on my rod since, since Monday. You, like, it's clipped on me. <laughs> it's not gonna come off. Yeah, that's hurting. <laughs> They're still glowing a bit, but that's pretty amazing. So yeah. yeah. Now I'm just starting to play with them because we were talking about it. Cool, you start putting the chairs away. Got it. Yes, I clipped them. You can actually do this. That's actually okay, cool. Mm. You, you can like put two together it clips I didn't expect it to do that so yeah uh, where do you want me to put the uh, flags alright I'll bring them some uh, wait uh, they're worth the money yeah these little things are worth the money 25 cents you want the brightest looking light go to whisker sticks you want the last, the long lasting and more, how do you say? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the lights. Yeah. 
a more long lasting light, use these because, yeah, they're long lasting. But if you want a brighter light, use this. Is everything still okay here? With the round, how much do you, the, how much do you say I have the ones with the round? Daddy, how much are these little lights for? Each packet. Which ones? The little lights. The uh, 25 cents. Per packet? You can get a box of 100 mm -hmm. on Amazon mm -hmm. for about $25. 100 lights for $25. That's really cheap. Yeah, and they're throwaways. So if they go flying in the water, you just get another one. Now the whisk, the what we use today, the whisk, uh, whisker sticks. Yeah. These are about five dollars a piece, I believe. How much is the battery to replace them? Um, on Amazon's are cheaper today. I bought four batteries at Home Depot for ten dollars. So. They're much. They're much like how do you say brighter? They're brighter. The LED, the whisker sticks are very, very bright. They're awesome, but there's three components. You have the light, the battery, and then you have the the zip tie. It's a reusable zip tie. I have a video on it guys. Y'all check out the video. I have a video talking about different LED lights. Step on it. That's a great deal. Thanks for letting me in. Yep. I mean, this is what we know at least. Go to Whisker Sticks channel or something. Wait, what is it? Cha what is the channel again? Oh. The channel Whisker Sticks. Oh, uh, Whisker Sticks. Whisker Sticks, right? Uh huh. Yeah, go over to the channel. You'll see. I have. Ch tell them to check out the video. I have a video yeah. talking about it. It's on my description. The video. Yeah, it's in the description. It's a description, right? Yeah, check out the, the video. It just talks about how like the lights are, how they work, and you can see how the um, pretty much the light effectiveness and how they are working. Have the battery pocket, the battery pocket, and where is it? What do you want me to put in? Uh, put in that. Put it in there. I'll get out tomorrow. Okay. Think there's people still on? I'm gonna check. Low battery. <sighs> good night, everyone. Thank you for joining in, and good night. I'm not. Do I have. I'll turn, we'll turn off the stream when we're all done. Pack up the yeah, let's, let's let's sign off. Yeah, sign off. Yeah. Thank you. All right, William guys. Hey, come thank over you. here. Come over here. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for uh, sticking with yeah. us. We we tried hard to catch mm -hmm. fish today. It didn't happen today. Was what was tonight? A skunk. A skunk night. <laughs> it was disappointing, but you know what? Thank you so much for hanging around with us. And uh, hopefully we can do it again. I don't know. Maybe next week or in a couple of weeks. Now Cookie goes to go back. He goes uh, start school. Yeah. When he starts school, Monday, Tuesday. 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 So. 
It's gonna have to be done on, on weekends. Virginia Fisherman, yeah. thank you so much for being here the whole time. Yeah. Everyone who else who's been with us and checked in, mm -hmm. gave us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for doing that for us, for Cookie. Yeah. And uh, who supports our channel. Thank you so much. Um, we'll try again. We'll try again in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch some big ones. Yeah. Guys, until next time. Good night. Good night. Signing off and good night.